Oh, ah, ah, ah. oh, oh. <laughs> Unhinge the spine. <laughs> Welcome back to another episode of Trash Taste. I'm Connor, featuring your boys, Gart and Joey. Featuring? Featuring. <laughs> featuring. Oh, this is a YouTube oh, title. I'm sorry, was this the YouTube? This is this the Sea Dog V8? Is this the Sea Dog V8? Well, when you host, you can feature me and whoever else is, is not hosting, all right? It's, today, it's the Sea Dog Show. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> it's just, okay. This camera angle is just wow. never used okay. the yeah, entire okay. time. Yeah, yeah, we're just looking at <laughs> one camera angle. Me, fight, me fighting the demons that are in my head <laughs> for two hours. <laughs> we were never here. <laughs> it's just all in his head. <laughs> I, I suppose I should have a topic to talk about. Yeah, right. well, you are the host. Well, we are the demons in your head. So yeah. what does- uh, we, we'll, What we'll do you just, want to talk about we'll today? Play, we'll just play along. We'll just play uh, along. Uh, what if-, what if <laughs> Don't you guys hate- What if one day we start an episode, we're like, I just don't know what to talk about. <laughs> like, we're just like, we should. Can we, we have an epi- can we have an episode like where we're just silent sound. for yeah, two yeah. hours? <laughs> so, no, okay. What? Well, no, okay. <laughs> no, 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 I was simulating what it would feel like. Oh, okay, okay, no, 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 okay. simulation over. I'm just saying. Okay. <laughs> the simulation is over, you, you guys. Fell okay. into the simulation a little okay. too real. Back though. to trash taste now. Back to trash <laughs> taste. Does uh, sleep terrify you guys? What the fuck is this? I've been, I've been, I've just had this like realization. Okay. What? what, what why? I don't know. Sometimes. What happened? Some sometimes I go into like Gant mode in the shower and I'm like. And I have this existential thought that just fucking hits me, and I'm like, okay, I'm terrified of something new now. Great. Why Thank are you, you terrified Mike. of sleeping? That makes because no okay, what you, is the you've difference? Done it many times. What is the difference between sleeping and dying? Tell me that. Tell uh, me that. Uh, well, you, you, you you're dream not, when you sleep. Uh, you're not dead. <laughs> That's the big Aside one. Aside from that, but you're, you're, but from your you, own perspective, you wake back up. No, there is there is no difference. There is yeah. no difference. Your brain, your brain it like goes. Doo, 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 doo. I, th I think I thought about this because I was well, like, well, I always fall into like random YouTube mm. holes, and I was just like, random fact: people don't know how anesthesia really works, but it just does for some reason, right? Wait, what you do you just, mean? Like in terms of like you know when you go under for surgery, yeah, mm -hmm. like they still do not like know on a molecular level why like anesthesia works, why it knocks you out. Yeah. But then now I'm afraid to take anesthesia. <laughs> no, 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 it's fine, it's fine. <laughs> yes, doctor, pump this shit well, into me yeah, that yeah. we don't like, know. It's like, you know, I'm sure penicillin, he was like, bro, I don't know how this shit works exactly, <laughs> but it seems to be working. Hey, yo, this shit busting though. So <laughs> I would just take it if I was you. It saved my kid. Yeah, because I've, I've luckily, luckily I've never needed like surgery or anything like that. So mm. I've never needed to go under. Mm. Um, so I don't know, I don't know, I don't know what it's like. I have any of you guys, Needed to take anesthesia no, or anything no. like that. I, Thank God. If I ever go to the hospital and I need to get anything serious done, he's like, man, we gotta stitch up your finger. I'm like, just put me under. Just just fucking knock me out. <laughs> yeah. like, let's, I do not want to be awake for any of this. Yeah. I'm, I'm totally fine with you opening me up while I'm asleep. I just don't want to know. Every every time they take blood from you, they're just like, put yeah. me under, dog. If, if I, I don't like, want to see if, this I shit. Mean, the bl blood's probably like my, my like, it's getting closer to my limit of like, man, I do not want to do this, yeah. but I'll do it. Yeah, I, I didn't realize before, but I think I just, I don't know. I don't think I have a fear of getting my blood taken, but I think I like to know when I'm getting my blood taken beforehand. <laughs> so ever, I can- Have you ever had your blood taken without you knowing? Not, not without my, <laughs> not, not without my- He's just standing in the fucking lights. Yeah. And it's just like, what's that pic? Hey! <laughs> not without me knowing. Don't take my blood. <laughs> but uh, actually today I did have uh, an appointment yeah. uh, and I did need to get my blood taken. Oh, okay, and okay. I didn't know that I needed to get my blood taken. Oh, you, now, felt, you felt uncomfortable that you turned up and they yeah. were like, Oh, you oh. want to know beforehand? Yeah, yeah. So oh, normally we would, normally when <laughs> I go to the doctor <laughs> right. or when we have a health checkup, I'm like, okay, I'm getting my blood taken. Mm. I can mentally prepare myself. I know this is going to happen. So I go to this appointment and they're like, okay, uh, we probably need to just do a quick check of your blood uh, mm. before anything else as mm. well, since it's been a while. And I'm like, sorry. What? Wait, so I, how much notice do you need then? How much notice? Yeah, how much notice do I got to give you before I take your blood? <laughs> <laughs> like if I feel like, like, you got to you got to put in like, like a notice. Like, got to put in like yeah. a <laughs> like just a one wing thing, yeah. like one day thing. Just just like before, just before? when when I turn up to the building for an appointment you to do a checkup. I just want to know okay. before so I can just be like, okay, I'm getting my blood taken today. And here's the thing, I I don't know why I never used to think about this. I know I, before I'd be like getting blood taken, whatever. But yeah. the more that time has gone on, for some reason. I don't know if it is being around Sydney because Sydney has Sydney is deathly afraid of needles. Mm. Um, and I think being around her and her fear of needles, some of that fear might have like gotten pushed onto me subconsciously. Mm. I have no idea. Is it because you've seen like uh, Sydney 
his blood getting taken a lot where you're just like, oh, that thing looks... Ugh, I or, think so, actually. Because yeah. I, I remember one time uh, I had to like, literally the first time Sydney got ill, I don't know if I've ever, I've ever told this story on the podcast. Maybe I have, but first time she got ill, um, had to take her to the hospital uh, because yep. she had a very, very bad fever. Mm. Um, of course, uh, she had to get blood taken. Mm. Um, and like, I guess like me now, she, if she gets blood taken, she needs not a day. She needs like a fucking week or month notice mm. to be like, I'm building up to this one moment. <laughs> Doctor okay. goes, okay, we need to take your blood. And uh, I had to literally help the nurses hold her down while uh, while we we take Jesus like Christ. while we take a blood, Why? she was she like run away. She was that she was like <laughs> that afraid of needles. <laughs> but Bloody you know, to be, to be fair, she's she's gotten a lot better now. Yeah. Mm. Um. But I think I, th I think that one time when I because normally when I get the blood taken, I never look at the blood being mm -hmm. taken. Mm. And I think that I think s having now helping Sydney every time calm down whenever she gets her blood taken. Every time I see like her blood getting taken, I'm like that looks. That that doesn't look natural, man. So, something's wrong. That was in her body. That was in her body. I think watching someone else get their blood taken, I'm kind of like, yeah. But then when I watch it happening to me, I'm like, whoa, that's weird. <laughs> no, that's I love seeing right. my blood getting taken. I know you, you're a freak. You're a, you're a freak. I was like, look how much it's gushing. I remember because um, I uh, I had to get blood tests all the fucking time because um, uh, I've I've just got diagnosed with hemophilia, mm -hmm. which is a genetic thing. Um, not genetic, uh, her hereditary. Yeah. Um, yeah. And I remember they used to take my blood all the time. And dude, to this day, I still want this toy. They had this thing and it was like, it was like a, like four cubes by four cubes. And they had like the floating ink in water. Yeah. Like a lava lamp right, kind of thing, right. more, more viscous. Yeah. And, and it was just like a house where like all the ink would just go around and it would spin and do stuff. I think I thought that was, shit was so cool. And they would just show it to you to just, just like, ooh. Ooh. And then they secretly they're like, get all his blood, get it all. It's literally the the, the tactic doctors used to well, on a baby, yeah. right? Where it's like, hold on to this teddy bear. I, I remember, I remember, I was like eight, and I was like, damn, this thing is sick. I wanted. What that. is it? Is like a ferrofluid thing or what? Yeah, like a ferrofluid kind of yeah. thing, and just kind of like it, it would just go around the house and do a bunch of obstacles. And uh, yeah, that's not sick. It's not sick. I just was, want that as a thing now. It was cool to look at. I was like, wow. Have, oh, uh, my blood's gone. <laughs> Have any of you guys ever needed to take like any strong like painkillers like morphine nope. or anything Never. along those, anything uh, on those levels? Uh, no, I, I don't think so. I mean, like uh, just cope, yeah, yeah, you just cope. <laughs> I, I huff that every morning, like. Oh. Like, I don't know. I've never had to go to like the hospital for any kind of like major injury or anything yeah. like that. At least mm. from what I remember. No wisdom teeth getting taken out or anything like that? I still have all my wisdom teeth. Uh, they came out straight, which is great. Um, I don't know. I don't yeah. know. I, no I don't, yeah, yeah. I don't, I've never been I've, like I've a- I've always been curious about what it feels like to mm. get to that state of mind. Cause you know, you sometimes you see videos of people taking their wisdom teeth out and they just- It looks funny. It, it does look it hilarious. Right. At the same time, I would be deathly terrified yeah. uh, if that ever happened to me because I have no doubt that if you boys took me to the get my wisdom teeth out, you'd just take advantage of my mental state. I think of you mind. have to film it. Like, <laughs> yeah. I think, of course you do. I I would love That's that. Film. We need to do a trash taste episode <laughs> with you, just like no. Where I think, am I? Think, I? I? Think you film it, and then if it's too cringe, you delete, and if it's funny, oh great, we keep it. You know? Yeah, I think yeah. You, you know, it's just a. Uh, it's like uh, those weird videos. Is this from, real yeah. life? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> like you get that video, what right? Do you yeah. Mean? <laughs> yeah, I think the only time I've seen someone like that happen to someone was another time I had to take Sydney to the hospital. God, Sydney's just your experiment. Yeah. Like, like, so I gave her four cc's of morphine. <laughs> yeah, um, she, she wasn't- just she, limit testing with Sydney. Yeah, exactly. She, she wasn't given morphine, but she was given another strong painkiller at the hospital, it was mm. in America. Yeah. And I remember she was, uh, she, she was in pain and then she wasn't in pain. And it was like, oh, it's all good. And she was very clear in the mind. She was acting like normal Sydney. Mm. And then she just goes to me, so God, like serious question. Are those walls moving? And I'm like, no, those walls are not moving. And she was like- Hate it when the walls move. <laughs> she Did was the like, doctor give a shrew? Like, what? <laughs> what the fuck? I, I, I have no idea, but if, like she was just like in the most straight voice, she was like, no, I think those walls are moving. Can you uh, can we can we get out of this room, please? The, the walls are like. Can awesome. you check up on that? <laughs> yeah. Why why are the walls wiggling right now? What if you went back and pushed the wall? You went up to it, and then maybe it would. See the I would wall. be I would be wiggling. Part yeah, of the actually, wall yeah, maybe you might be. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> Just to fuck with her. Just like, 
Yeah, I mean, it it does scare me sometimes how easy it is to like manipulate the mind. You know, I'm fucking. <laughs> Was you saying it that in that blazer? It's, like, <laughs> it's so like. <laughs> So I heard you want to be manipulated. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the only, um, actually, I, I don't know. I don't know the ending to this story. Um, when I was really young, you know those, um, those, those. I don't know what they are. They're like they're like balloons things, but they have weights at the bottom. So when you punch it, yeah, it goes back down, mm. and then it comes right back up. I don't know if I've told the story before. Like the punching bag. Things? Yeah, 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 kind yeah. of a punching bag, but for kids, it's yeah, kind of yeah, like yeah. you know, it's a little more like this big. And um, I was just punching mine. And I was punching it. I was having a good time. And then, <laughs> I don't know how this happened. My brother starts screaming. He's like, ah! I'm like, what's wrong? And he's like, your thumb. The thumb was just backwards. Like down here. What? <laughs> yeah. Oh. I have, and I, and I, I have this memory of looking at it going, because ah! <laughs> I'm just like, what the fuck? But I couldn't feel anything. I remember not being able to feel it at all. Did you like dislocate it? I think it? so, yeah. And, and I don't remember, I, I don't know. I think I fainted or passed out. And then Wait, woke, hold on. You, you dislocated woke, woke, your thumb on a fucking balloon? Yeah, on a balloon. <laughs> and, then I, and then I woke back up and I remember everything just being okay. How I'm, weak are your joints? I know, right? I have like an 80 year old man's joints yeah. already. I don't yeah. know how that happened. I must've just like hit it in some way. I I don't, I don't, Jesus. That's a funny story. My mom, my mom loves telling me that story. <laughs> okay, so like, because I've always wondered, right? Like when, when you see like people like dislocate a, a joint, right? Yeah. I've always wondered, do you feel that? Like, does it hurt? Absolutely. <laughs> right? It yeah. must do, right? I, I, I don't know. Cause I feel like I've- <sighs> Well, the more, the more it dislocates, right? The more it can happen again. Yeah. Right. And I think the more that maybe it might not hurt, but the more you get used to the sensation. Right. I feel like I must have dislocated my shoulder or at least there is some condition with my shoulder that makes mm. it like yeah. more easy to dislocate mm. because, okay. One reason I actually uh, have not been to the gym in a while was, uh, was there was there was one incident and mm. Connor was there. And oh yeah. <laughs> and I don't think I've ever talked about this, but yeah. uh, so, you know, we were we were pumping some weights and uh, I believe I was doing a, like a shoulder press yeah. with like free weights. I don't know if that's what it's called. Yeah, yeah. So yeah we were doing shoulders. Yeah, 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 we, yeah. we were doing shoulders. And I, I remember it was like, it was like my last, my last rep. Okay, it was like, you know, we're doing uh, a few sets of 10 and yep. it was like, I was on set nine and Connor was like, come on, bro, you gotta push it. Come One on, more. push it. You can do it. And I'm like, all right, bro, I got this. <laughs> and I fuck, I, I push it. And then I like, I don't know what happened, but for some reason I just lost all of the, all mm. of the strength yeah. on my left arm. Right. And then my, okay, so I'm lying down, right? So and I'm, I'm, you're normally like kind of holding beneath it. Yeah, but yeah, yeah, so yeah. fast as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So suddenly I just lost all of the weight on my left arm and my left arm just goes yeah. like oh, that. Right. And it landed, it landed this, like this close to my dick. <laughs> And I, I was this close to just not having children because I, 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 I mean, it's funny, but it, you say it now and it was funny, but at the time yeah. it was like, there's a lot of weight that you just dropped yeah. on your leg. Like it's yeah. pretty fucking bad. Crushed, I was like, holy crushed, fuck. Crushed yeah, I, I don't know if Connor saw if I dropped it on my leg or my dick, but I remember seeing Connor's face to be like, Oh my fuck, did, yeah. did I just see my mate? His dick is gone. <laughs> yeah, did, did I just mm. see my mate lose his lineage right there? <laughs> like- The bloodline ends here. Yeah. Because I, I felt, I was like, you know, you're, you're there and you're like, you're trying to help hold the weight shift yeah, because yeah, you yeah. can't do it. Yeah. And you're like, oh my God, it was like, realize how important it was to, to be better at this because it was so fast. Yeah. yeah. It was like, I, cause normally you see like shaking and then you kind of like, yeah, yeah, you yeah, kind of yeah. grab it. But it was like, just boom, yeah, like that. Jeez, it, was like it, was, it was just, it was just instant. And to this day, I think my my shoulder slightly got dislocated because I can't. It didn't hurt or anything. It just right. like like what all that happened was just mm. like it just lost uh, all strength, fell down, and then it just I could move it again. So I'm oh. pretty sure my shoulder just got dislocated Maybe slightly something or something. Maybe it was like I'm, a medical I don't expert. Yeah. Not medical yeah. expert. Don't self-diagnose. But it feel, but it feel, it felt kind of weird, you know. Yeah, because if I've like, because uh, I've I've never dislocated anything myself, mm. but I've seen people dislocate joints. But yeah. like that, I feel the reactions are always varied. Yeah. Like some people I've seen where it's like, I have no idea. Holy can, fuck. Like this. this is like, this looks really painful. Like yeah. you, you think they might've broken something. Yeah. And then other ones that just like, like it's like, it's a slight inconvenience. Like they yeah. just got a splinter in them or something. Yeah. Cause I remember yeah. like one that fucking traumatized me. And, and this is like the day I stopped playing rugby. 
was I was I was in high school and we were playing like, you know, just in, in the schoolyard. I think I was like 16, 17, yeah. something like that. And like, it's Australia. So like, we love playing rugby. Yeah. And so we were like, all right, let's split up into two teams, you know, in the year. And we had this one kid in our year called Victor. Okay. Dutch dude. Right? Okay, right. Okay. We're like 16 years old. This guy is two meters and 20 centimeters. <laughs> what? Big boy. How is he allowed to play rugby with the normal kids? Big that fucking boy, right? That doesn't feel fair. <laughs> you know, like 100 plus kilos, like built like a brick shit house, but like- At 16? At 16. Bro, it's a Becky character. Yeah. <laughs> he doesn't belong in your school. He, like imagine Hanaya Makoto without <laughs> the scars. That's what he looked like, right? right? Jesus. But like, but, but you know, everyone was cool with him because he was like, he was massive, but he was a real gentle giant. Yeah, like, yeah. you know, never heard a fly. Oh, you have to be. Yeah. yeah, you have to be, right? So we were like, all right, well, when you play rugby, you obviously want the brick shit house in your team. Yeah. So we had him on our team and we were like, well, okay, you're the big I'm not boy. Playing rugby against that. Yeah. <laughs> so I, I was like, it. all right, you're the big boy. You can you can you can be a forward. And uh there was this other kid, uh I forgot his name, but like he was, you know, one of the cocky bastards in our in our year. He was like a little bit good at rugby and he's like, yeah, I can take him on. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Whatever. Fucking two minutes twenty. Who gives a shit? I can yeah. take him on. Yeah. So I remember the the other guy got the ball and he's standing in front of Victor and Victor's like, all right, I gotta I I have to yeah. stop. I have to stop him. Okay. <laughs> Why is he in front Russian? Or <laughs> I can't do a Dutch accent. <laughs> oh, yeah, he had a Dutch accent. Yeah, he had a Dutch oh, accent because oh, yeah. he because he, he like came he oh, right, emigrated right. to Australia from, right, from right, the Netherlands. Right, right, right. So he had this Dutch accent. He's like, oh, I have to stop him. Okay. And uh, and you know you're holding the ball and the guy's hand is out like this. Okay. You yeah. know to try and maybe like push him out of the way. Oh. But uh, this other guy was a little bit smaller than the usual. Yeah. Right. Especially yeah. compared to fucking Mr. Massive Giant over here. Yeah. So what he does is he runs, he thinks, okay, I can bulldoze him. So he runs straight towards him with his hand out like this. Right. And then there's like this point of impact. And then he falls on his ass, drops the ball. And everyone's like, oh, wow, dude, you just got absolutely dunked. And everyone starts laughing. And he's like, yeah. <laughs> and he lifts his hand up and his wrist is just completely oh. like <laughs> down. His hand is That's down gross. here. Gross. It's just completely dislocated. That's but like, nasty. and everyone thought, oh my God, you just got your wrist snapped. Like yeah. it's yeah. broken. Yeah. But he was just like, well, I don't feel anything though. So it turns oh. out his whole wrist just got dislocated. Oh my but he God. was like, it doesn't hurt or anything. Yeah. But I looked at it, I was just like. <laughs> yeah, you can't look at that <laughs> shit. Oh, <laughs> like, oh. And what he did was he just was like, all right, yeah, I'm gonna go to the hospital and just walked off. <laughs> well, I mean, like, if it yeah. doesn't hurt, it's yeah. like, you, I mean, after you probably get over the shock of it, you're probably like, yeah. all right, well, I mean, I it's guess- starting to settle in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I guess, yeah. You know, I guess my, so. I guess it's my, just my life now. Yeah, yeah. Either my hand's gonna be like this. So maybe yeah. if it's like completely dislocated, then you lose, I don't know. I don't know. I don't, is, yeah. there any, is there any anything? It depends on the type of four. Depends on the type. Depends okay. on yeah. the type. It seems yeah. like yeah. there's a lot of variation in it. It yeah. must be because I like ever since that happened, ever since I almost lost uh, my entire bloodline, uh, my shoulder's never quite been the same. <laughs> it's like- Did you ever go and get that checked out? Yeah, you should probably go get that checked out, dude. <laughs> Probably should. <laughs> <laughs> this is like my friend, uh, my friend in my uh, high school, he, he um, playing cricket. And obviously if you've ever played cricket, sorry, mm. Americans, or I guess, yeah, just Americans. Everyone else. Yeah, yeah every, uh, unless all the Indian fans are like, I've, I've, I've ever played that. Yeah. Indies, Australians, British unite. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, I mean, you know, the ball goes pretty fucking fast. Oh yeah. Um, yeah. It, and it's the cricket ball, uh, it's like a baseball, but harder. It's a cement ball. It's, yeah. it's, it's very, you know, and, and yeah. I feel like making school kids play this sometimes is a horrible idea. <laughs> um, <laughs> And he was a very stoic type kind of kid anyway. Like he didn't really get faced by a lot. And he was uh, very much into Boy Scouts and all that stuff. And mm. every weekend he's like, yeah, I just eat dirt and climb mountains and, you know, do extreme sports. And <laughs> he was dirt. like, I don't know, whatever. You know, the, whatever, the things whatever. those Boy Scouts <laughs> do. Yeah. do. Yeah. And um, yeah, one, one time he tried to catch the cricket ball with his hand and it went wrong and it, it only like his finger kind of clipped it. Oh. But it like, instead of like pushing it back, he kind of like, uh, like made his in. finger here go like this. And so it was kind of like fucked. Ooh. And he was like, yeah, it really hurts, but I think I'm just gonna leave it. And then he tried to bend it back and like didn't have much success with yeah. that. And yeah. then eventually he just left it. And after a few months, he was like, yeah, it's fine. But every time he held up his hand, his finger was like a little bit bent there. <laughs> And he just left it like that. And what I assume I assume to this day, it's still like that. Cause he just never got it. Like a, a month later, he never got it like checked or anything. He was just like, oh, it's fine. Oh, you know, he's like, oh, this is my identity now. Yeah. Typing yeah. must be a nightmare, but he, I'm, I'm, you know. <laughs>
<laughs> or really easy. It's like I can reach the enter key yeah, really yeah, easily yeah, yeah. with my middle finger now. You can reach two keys at once <laughs> now, you know? <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> Fucking fly fed. <laughs> yeah. Jesus Christ. When I mean, you forget how to, how easy it is to get injured doing very mundane things, but also sports as well. You mm, yeah. forget. But then I guess you also can't, I feel like a lot of the time being like worrying about getting injured in these kind of things, you know, and, and these freak accidents like, mm. well, I mean, you still gotta live your life and do some things. I, I think yeah. I've realized recently, cause you know, you know how this, like, you know, when you reach your thirties, you know, that's when, yeah. that's when, you know, your body is just like, yeah. your free trial has ended. Yeah. You know, we are going to, the, you know, we are going into the paper. Free trial has yeah. ended. <laughs> yeah, your okay. free trial okay. has ended. Yeah. I mean, that's what, kind of what it feels like because- I, Well, because you're, you're smaller, you're lighter. If you fall or get hit, you know, often yeah. the impact isn't as bad yeah. as say yeah. like falling. So like when I went to Thailand uh, this this last time, it's like such a fucking minor, minor little thing, but it was such a big, I guess, wake up call for mm -hmm. me mm -hmm. um, as someone now 32. <laughs> mm -hmm. So I, it's I, all I did was I was sitting, I was sitting on uh, one of those plastic chairs mm -hmm. that we had at, uh, that, at the wedding. And obviously this plastic chair had obviously taken a little beating. I didn't know that. So I just, all that happened was I sat down Plastic chair broke and I fell on my ass. That hurts. And so. That hurts. Yeah, yeah. And there is like concrete ground on like on like the patio where on my garden in Thailand. So such a such a minor stupid little thing. Mm. But like as soon as it happened, I fell down and I landed a bit awkwardly on my tailbone. Ooh. And Ooh. I was like, it's fine. It's fine. Don't worry. Don't worry. It's fine. Fight no, through the pain. It's 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 just, all I did was just in my ass. It's 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 all good. Yeah. Um so like one day passes. I wake up next day and it's uh, it's it's pretty painful. Oh. And I'm like, oh, do I do I go see a doctor? Do I not? I'll, 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 I'll see. I'll see. Let me let, let me let me just let me just hope that it's nothing serious. I'm, yeah. I'm praying to God yeah. that this I, I I'm not going to get like not a life life threatening, but just like an injury that an, an annoying little injury that it's, it's, sticks it's really with easy you. to uh, I think break or bruise that bone. Yeah, mm, mm. yeah, it is. So it's, this, it's like bone. different severities. Mm. Um, and so a week passes and still hurting a little bit. Oh no! <laughs> and so bro, I'm getting old. Dude. And so I'm, like, I'm like, bro, all I did was just fall on my ass. How am I? How is this hurting for a whole week? And then I had to fucking Google it. And then I was like, if you fall on your tailbone, what are what are like the consequences of that? Because it wasn't I'm, I wasn't exactly in like searing pain. I don't think it was broken. Minor it was just minor discomfort every single day. And mm -hmm. I'm just like. I swear to God, if this sticks for me, cause I sat on the wrong fucking seat, I'm gonna be so fucking <laughs> angry at God. I so, <laughs> like, <laughs> like I've been avoiding injuries like my entire life and all it takes is one fucking plastic chair. Yeah. And I, I, that, I can't believe that chair just gave you a perma debuff. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> one, my entire life, like no broken bones, no major injuries yeah. versus one plastic Where fucking chair. Where does it still chair. hurt now? Thankfully, three weeks later, it is, it is- Three weeks? Yeah, three weeks later. Jesus. Yeah, maybe you bruised it. Yeah, huh? you must maybe have you bruised, bruised it. I think, I think I bruised it, but three weeks later, thankfully now it is gone. But it was such like a wake up call to <laughs> me that at my age, just the stupidest thing can have long lasting consequences. Mm. Even if it's not something you think of like a stupid fucking plastic. Well, chair. I mean, it's, you know, it's, uh, you, it's like like freak accidents that like you don't know if you just hit something at the perfect angle where something way worse could happen than it would to anyone else in the same situation. Oh, yeah, 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 for sure. Thousand times over. So I feel like worrying about it is like. Yeah, you know, I know. Worrying about it is yeah. uh, is. Uh, and also, I, hey, if it is the chair that does you in, that's how it is, man. <laughs> at least you're not one of the ten people who die from vending machines a year or something. Yeah, you know yeah, I mean? yeah, like yeah. That yeah. feels like what the hell? Exactly. So three, uh, 10 people, wait. Something like, there's, there's X amount of people die every year of vending machines. There are more people in Japan who die of getting crushed by a vending machine than of shark attacks. Isn't that fucked up? That kind of makes sense. Cause I feel like there's way more vending machines. I, could, I, I have more chance of beating up a shark than a vending machine. <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, I can fight yeah. off a shark. I can't yeah. fight off a full vending machine though. Uh, a filled Pocari sweat vending machine. I'm done. <laughs> um, it's falling on me. I'm, not, I'm dead. Yeah. I mean, yeah, that just makes sense statistically yeah. considering how many like the vending machine ratio to person ratio yeah. in Japan. Was yeah. Versus like sharks in Japan. It made me realize uh, talking about uh, that kind of stuff and like little injuries that like, I find that, 
I don't know if I'm, I feel this way, but like, I feel like because I got hurt so much as a kid doing sports and dumb stuff that mm. I, I, I don't know if it's like perspective or what, but like, I feel like when I fall or get hurt in things now, it doesn't, I mean, it hurts more mm. than when I was a kid, obviously, but I'm like, yeah. I don't worry about it too much. Whereas maybe if uh, some of my other friends try like say uh, skiing or something for the first time and they haven't had that experience of falling on their ass in a long, long time, it's like, yeah. oh, okay. Yeah, this shit fucking hurts. And yeah. maybe they, they take it not as well um, as, as maybe you would if you've had a lot more experience falling over. I don't know if that's how it works, but it feels that way. Like I feel like if you've had mm. that experience where you've been used to it a lot, yeah. especially it's like, like skiing where you're used to falling over a bunch or, or snowboarding, it's like, all right, well, it doesn't bother me as much when it happens when I'm an adult. Yeah. Right. But when you see someone doing it for the first time as an adult falling over, like, oh my God, this is a lot. Yeah. Especially yeah. when you're your first time ever falling as an adult, you're like, all right, you're like six foot, Maybe you're like 200 pounds. That's a lot of weight. It's further yeah. to fall as well, right? Further like to fall. To a kid. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Well, I I, like I, I remember like the one one of the ski trips we, we went yeah. on last year. Uh, most most falls, I was like completely fine. Um, one or one or two of them will get you there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I remember, but I remember there's one fall, and it was a pretty bad fall, and I fell over, and I was just laying down, and it was it was like I was like it felt like my my entire body was winded. And oh I, yeah, that happens. That and I knew sucks. I knew that I like not that I like I didn't position my legs in the right way that I knew I should have mm. to kind of like make the fall better. So I had this oh shit moment. Mm. Where mm. I'm like, I know I'm on. I know I've completely fucked up that fall, and my body's still in shock. Did I do anything actually serious? And yeah. I yeah. think I think I actually remember <laughs> witnessing that fall because <laughs> it was on like the last day. Right? Yeah, 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 yeah. I remember witnessing that fall from from a. Di I was like chilling at the bottom <laughs> of this slope, and I, I was chilling in the cafe with I think Luke, and uh, and I was like, okay, you know, seeing all the boys coming down because I think you guys went for like another round or something. Yeah, right? yeah. And I was just chilling, and uh, and in the distance, I'm like, oh, there's gone. All right, he's coming down. Oh, he's he's going a little bit fast, and then you just eat shit. Yeah, right. And I got worried because you just didn't move. <laughs> like it's like usually when you witness someone falling on a slope, yeah. right? Usually, you know, they kind of move around, they pick themselves back up immediately. Yeah. And you're like, all right, he's good. He yeah. just yeah. he just fell, it's whatever. Walk it off. Walk but it off. The, yeah, you can just walk it off. But <laughs> but I knew like something was like happening because Gunt did this tumble. It wasn't even a fall, it was like a tumble. Yeah. You did like a full flip and you're just like lying face down in the snow, not moving an inch. And I'm like, oh my God, I just He's dead. I, I just, I just witnessed the death, <laughs> and I'm chilling here with a coffee, just like watching this shit happen. Yeah, and you were on the ground for like a good like five minutes or so, right? Like, yeah, I mean, it fucking hurt, but yeah. also part of that was just me trying to psych myself up to be like, am I paralyzed now? <laughs> Have I broken any bones? I, I kind of want to, I kind of want to check, but I kind of don't. Just yeah. in case, just like these might be my last moments of like freedom from any major injuries. And I wanna maybe save this moment. And then I was like, all right, I can move my legs, thank God. Yeah, <laughs> I'm good. <laughs> I'm fucking good. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah, it can be scary. Yeah. I, I, you, it's very easy to injure yourself. I think it's easy to forget that skiing and snowboard and stuff like that are pretty dangerous. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Like, wow, there's fun activities and beer. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> this episode is sponsored by ExpressVPN. Gentlemen, have any of you broken your phone before? I sure have. Did I have a case on it when it broke? No, I'm an idiot. Unfortunately not. Well guys, going online without ExpressVPN is like using your phone without a protective case. Look what happened to them. Don't be like us. Use ExpressVPN right now. Because every time you connect to an unencrypted network in cafes, hotels, airports, your online data is not secured. Mm -hmm. Any hacker on the same network can gain access to and steal your personal data. Your data is valuable, guys. Hackers can make up to $1,000 per person by <gasps> selling your personal information online. ExpressVPN creates a secure encrypted tunnel between your device and the internet. Hackers can't steal your sensitive data and it take a hacker with a supercomputer over a billion years to get <gasps> past ExpressVPN's encryption. And best of all, it's easy to use, boys. Just fire up the app and it's one button to oh, get protected. But I have more than a phone, Connor. What else can I use it on? Well, like if you can't, you can use it on pretty much anything. <gasps> Phones, laptop, tablets, and more, so you can stay secure on the go. Garn, what do you like most about ExpressVPN? Well, Connor, as you know, we've been traveling a lot, whether mm -hmm. filming content or going to different conventions. We go to a lot of public hotspots and I just feel really secure now that I have ExpressVPN on my phone because I don't know what I'm connecting to sometimes. So secure your online data today by visiting expressvpn.com slash trash taste that's E-X-P-R-E-S-S-V-P-N.com slash trash taste and you can get an extra three months free. 
expressvpn.com slash trash taste. Get it done. This episode is sponsored by Raycons. This time of the year, everyone's talking about making a big change to their routine. Sure. But do you actually go in through and do it? Of no, course you no, don't. You need no. to actually put it into your routine, guys. Raycon is premium audio for the perfect price. So you can build great habits without breaking the bank. Thank Whether God. you're looking for a pair of everyday earbuds, low latency gaming headphones, or speakers with a battery life that will last all night until your next party, Raycon has got you covered. Mm. Joe, you've been going to the gym recently, right? I have, I use it to run. And honestly, I have such a bad habit of losing other earbuds all the time. And so I always have Raycon with me because honestly, it's one of the most affordable headphones you can get. And it has amazing audio quality. Even if you know you'll love Raycon as much as we do, Raycon wants to make sure you feel great about your purchase. They offer buy now, pay later options. Every purchase has an easy and free return guarantee. And honestly guys, Raycon has some really awesome features. For example, they have water and sweat resistance. Plus, and that noise isolation, right? Absolutely. Absolutely. So are you ready to buy something small with a big impact? Go to buyraycon.com slash trash taste today to get 15% off your Raycon order. That's buyraycon.com slash trash taste to score 15% off. Buyraycon.com slash trash taste. Back to the episode. Well, you went like bungee jumping, which sounds pretty dangerous. No, bungee jumping, it's fine. It's not like, okay, you see those videos of bungee jumping going wrong. Uh, and you're like, oh God. But then I feel like if, if I'm gonna bungee jump anywhere, I trust that Japan, they take all the measures <laughs> and that they would do it mm. right. I didn't feel at all in danger. Bungee jumping was really cool though. Mm. I really liked it a lot. Mm. It is strange. Cause it, it was like, uh, I'd never done it before. And I was really hyped to try it. I knew Chris was very much not hyped to try it. Yep. In fact, he didn't even want to go near it. Yeah. Um, and I, I knew I would like it, but it was, I, and I, I, in the <clears> video, it's like, all right, okay. like. I don't know how to do, like, I don't get scared at stuff like that. I don't know why, because I just trust that everything works. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And if something goes wrong, all right, well, GG. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? No like, reason. Yeah, like, but also on the video, you have to like pretend to be a bit more scared than you are, because you know, you got to, and, and you know, you, you ham it up. Yeah. Um, yeah. But there is that like one second window where you jump out and the bungee jump hasn't like, like, uh, tensioned yet. Yeah. You're like, whoa. You're just in free fall. Yeah, it's really cool. It's like, you kind of in this, it's not even a second. It's like less than a second. It's like half a second of like, holy shit. This is what it would feel like if you just jumped off a cliff. Yeah. yeah. Like just this falling and the picking up the speed and the scariest thing is just seeing the floor get way closer to you really fast. Yeah, yeah. And then and then the bungee, you know, it tenses and then you're like, oh, okay, right. And then it becomes yeah. more like a ride. Right. Right. Yeah. But for that, for those 0 0.5 seconds where you, you jump and you just see the floor and you're like, whoa. That's a, that's an amazing feeling. You feel the zero Gs, right? Yeah. Dude, it's sick. Yeah. It's sick. It's so good. I get why people get addicted to it. I still wouldn't want to do it. <laughs> no? It's weird. I- oh, He's scared of ice, isn't he? I, well, oh, that's true. the thing. I don't, I don't want to do bungee jumping ever, but I want to try skydiving. Yeah. Because it's like, I feel when it gets to skydiving levels, when you jump out of that, again, I don't know, mm. right? This mm. is just all speculation, but yeah. I would feel the moment I jump out of the plane, maybe for the first second or so, I'd be like, I am, practically shitting mm -hmm. right now. I'm yeah. shitting my pants that I've just flown, I've jumped out of this vehicle. Yeah. yeah. But then after a while, you just like, you just enjoy the free fall, right? Yeah. And it's just like, oh, I'm good. Like, you know, I've got a parachute. I got an instructor I, probably like, you know, and, and it'll be fine. I feel like, I feel like skydiving safer than bungee jumping though. I think, I think the yeah. one thing about skydiving that makes it less scary in mm. my mind is that the floor from that high up, like the ground, doesn't feel real. No, no. Because it's, there's no like perspective. It's like computer yeah. generated. <laughs> but I think the thing that makes bungee jumping so scary is how close you get to the ground. Mm. And also it just looks like a normal view and you're just jumping. Yeah, like yeah. it's like, when you see videos of skydiving, you're like, bro, it just looks like man just jumped out on like of the Sim City, yeah, like yeah. looking down. Yeah, you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, like yeah. it doesn't look, and I, I know that obviously it is going to be too scary in real life, but it doesn't feel like that when you're right, watching it. Right. I've never tried skydiving. I really want to. Mm. Um, but yeah, just, that's, I mean, that's the way I, I, I see it. Yeah. And I think, um, uh, yeah, how close you get to the floor is definitely terrifying. In that place as well, though, they had this like swing mm. and that was way scarier. Oh, that the was giant actually, swing? It's a giant swing. Yeah. And the reason why it's scary is because you don't get to decide when they drop you. And that's what's terrifying. Cause it's kind of like you're just sitting there and then suddenly boom, you're falling. Right, and right. again, it doesn't tension for about half a second. Yeah. And, and it, it, dude, it's terrifying. The yeah. fact that you get to decide 
when you s- jump and when you start speeding down, mm. yeah, is definitely a, a massive factor in what makes bungee jumping feel more kind of in control and more fun. Yeah. But the fact that you can't, you, you can't. Well, that's do just anxiety inducing, isn't it? Yeah. Well, yeah, you're sitting there and he's like, ready? And you're like, uh, yeah. <laughs> Cool. They're cool. Yeah, and then you yeah, go. yeah. It's like, whoa. I, I've, uh, have you seen those videos of the guy doing the bungee jumping, but he's like attached to the chair? Uh, no, I haven't seen that. Okay, so there's this video I saw quite a while ago of this guy. Um, I think it was on TikTok or YouTube Shorts or whatever, but it's bungee jumping. But instead of, you know, you standing at the edge and then you jumping whenever you're ready to go, mm, yeah. you're, you're, t- you're essentially strapped to a chair, yeah. like a regular ass, just like plastic chair. And you don't get to go because you're, it's it's like a hostage situation. Yeah, like yeah, you just, yeah. you just attach to this chair and the instructor just like Spartan kicks you off. Oh. <laughs> and, and like, and no warning. That sounds fun. Th- that does not sound fun. That sounds <laughs> like, that sounds like a torture man. I thought that yeah. sounds fun. I like, I like the idea of that. It's like, yeah. where's the money? <laughs> Dude, sw- yeah, swinging or bouncing ad- around in yeah. free fall was awesome. <laughs> Yeah. I loved that. I'm I'm sure, so that's just a Batman simulator, yeah. right? Yeah. Here, POV, you have information Batman needs. Uh, I'm, I'm Where a, is he? Where is he? I, I'm a, I think I'm a bit of an ad- adrenaline junkie in general, though. I think I, out I of do, the three I, of us, I, I do love so. doing the crazy things. Yeah. Ever since I was a kid, though, like I always just love that stuff, too. Yeah, see, I think that's the reason why I managed to get, go through my entire childhood without going to the hospital, is because I never. Looked for that address. I've never right. broken anything though. I, I, I like you just it. You lucky, bro. I yeah. think so. Yeah. <laughs> I've had some pretty bad falls, and but I've yeah. never broken anything. I don't wow. know. I don't, Built Mad diff. Max style is luck. Yeah, built diff. Yeah, no, I, I, I like. I, have. I, I like my adrenaline as well. Uh, I just like it to be controlled because I think the <laughs> the difference between five shots let's, of adrenaline. Yeah, yeah, let's let's say the difference between a roller coaster and snowboarding mm. is that I don't trust myself. Mm. Uh, I trust myself way less than <laughs> going on like rails. And yeah. But I think that's what makes uh, snowboarding more adrenaline inducing. It's like, man. That's it, it's, it's the risk, it, right? It's the like, risk. There's yeah. no risk on a roller coaster. So roller coasters, I'm kind of like, eh. So I'm more afraid of a roller coaster than I am of snowboarding though. Why? I don't know, maybe I'm the opposite. I trust the, uh, yeah. I trust myself more than some rando I've never But the met. odds of you hurting yourself are so much higher. So I know, but maybe I don't yeah. think about that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's yeah. the feeling. It's the feeling of like, yeah, I'm, I'm in control of it. It's yeah. like, like, it's my body. I, I, have, I have full control of it. <laughs> Whereas if I'm on a roller coaster, I'm like, uh, you know, there's there's lots of people I can blame if this mm-hmm. goes wrong, yeah. you know, yeah. not and, and none of them are me. I think uh, the the bad thing about being an adrenaline junkie though, uh, is that sometimes you have to, the voices in your head are like, do it, do that, it'll be fun, it'll be fun. And then you're like, no, oh, no, I should, but I might. Yeah, <laughs> unless. <laughs> it's like, it's like a, I always love doing uh, jumps and, on skiing or snowboarding, mm, yeah. but it, dude, <laughs> it's like the easiest way to fucking oh, hurt of yourself. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah. so easy to hurt yourself. Yeah. Uh, but, and, and you know, every time you do a jump, you're like, we can go a little faster next time, I think. We can go a little <laughs> higher. And every time you do, you're like, oh, oh, I, ne- I nearly messed up that landing. Yeah. That would have been bad. Because yeah. <laughs> you know, there's a lot of speed, a lot of momentum, and you, you don't yeah. really get to fall nicely on a no. ski or a snowboard when it's strapped into you. No. So, uh, so far, I haven't had a, a, an awful touch one wood. in a long time. Touch wood, um, touch wood. It's, yeah. it's been a hot minute since I really hurt myself on a ski or snowboard. <laughs> I mean, that's, future. That's good though. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Let's, I, 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 let's keep it that way. Yeah, <laughs> right, right. Maybe next time. Maybe yeah, did, next uh, time. Did you see the clip I posted of me doing a, a, a IRL stream? Yeah, a, yeah. I did a yeah. jump. Yeah, speed. you did a couple yeah. of jumps in that. Yeah. It was so hard to get it framed though. Yeah. Because in real life, you move so much more than you know. Obviously, you, you can anticipate. So, mm, yeah. and one time, Ludwig was like, "I'll I'll be your cameraman." So he's my cameraman while I'm doing the jumps, and of course, as he's going to the jump, you know, he he assumes a position. And immediately, as I'm, I'm about to take the jump, he bends down. So you just miss it. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, fuck me. But it was cool getting to do that and getting to, it's it's surreal watching it back because you, you watch the jump and you're like, oh, wow, that looked way cooler in my head than it did <laughs> yeah. on the camera. Yeah. Uh, but managed to get some air and stream it, which I think was pretty cool. I mean, there's a reason that. why yeah. games like SSX Tricky are in third person, not first person. That's, yeah. I think that's <laughs> true. Also, it's pretty like sickening. It looks way doing, cooler in third person. It most certainly yeah. does. Yeah. It's cool though, being able to do that, I think. Yeah, for sure, man. I don't know how often I'll do that. It was kind of tough. I yeah. mean, uh, I think it's amazing that, you know, like you said, we have gotten to the point where you can stream something That's like so that. That's so cool. Mm. But mm. at the same time, yeah, fucking, I don't need another layer of compl- complexity to add of me like yeah. trying to hurt myself as well. That's <laughs> fucking terrifying. It's like, oh, I, 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 now I'm in the trouble of hurting myself 
and all of this expensive equipment on my back. <laughs> Yo, but I, was more worried about, I was more worried about the backpack than me. I was like, <laughs> hey, a broken bone can fix. Broken but like the, a true uh, IRL streamer. Yeah. Dude. But the equipment, that takes a while to replace. You know, I can, I can get a new leg. This equipment's more expensive than I am. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right? I, you know what I mean? I, I don't know. I, so I mean, I've, I've been skiing for a while and snowboarding. And I was like, man, I kind of wish I could like do something with it. Wish mm, I could like yeah. stream it. Turn into content, eh? Well, just because that's the YouTuber brain. Mm -hmm. But also, yeah. I, you know, I think sometimes uh, when you get pretty good at stuff like that, it's kind of easy to be like, well, it doesn't really, you know. It doesn't really do anything. Yeah, it's kind of like doesn't do it for me anymore. That's what happens when you don't have any hobbies anymore. You're like, true. what hack? Is there anything left in my life that I can monetize in some way? Any <laughs> that's skills? true. That's true. That's true. <laughs> this, this is a hobby? No. No, it's unoptimized. Like, it's, it's, it's a job now. Yeah, can't, I'm doing it purely for enjoyment. Well, yeah. Who does that? <laughs> I, I don't know. It's like it's like a fun thing to test. Um, and for, I just like to, I like messing with stuff, and I like trying to figure out if some things work. Yeah. And I always thought that yeah, man, this theoretically there's nothing stopping you from streaming skiing. It's just why is the big one. <laughs> mm. And then yeah, tried it and it kind of worked. Yeah, some yeah. some bits didn't work so well. Do you think you so can well. do it again? Yeah, I'd really love to do uh, uh, like a a ski trip for like a one one or two days, probably two days, but then like everyone had a backpack on or like at least people who were pretty confident they wouldn't fall over. Right. So maybe not you. Yeah, uh, definitely <laughs> maybe not me. Maybe some other competent skiers or snowboarders who are pretty sure they're not gonna fall over yeah. can, can have it. Probably Manu, right? Yeah, Ma Manu would be good. Yeah, yeah Manu would be good. Great, yeah. If you put me on some skis, I could probably do it as well. Yeah, right? Yeah. Like I think uh, it's easier not to fall if your goal is to not fall. Yeah, I think if you ski, <laughs> wow, it, um, <laughs> words of wisdom, right there. At least for skis. Sorry, I, I mean yeah. I'm trying to word it because, like, if, if you it, don't want to fall, just don't fall. <laughs> you, there is a way to to ski if you've never done it that is very safe yes. and it's very hard to fuck up and fall over unless mm. you tr pretty much try to. Yeah, obviously if you're not a beginner. Yeah, um, snowboarding a little less so. Mm. Um, and so I think that you could do it where you'd be like, all right, if I have the bag on. I'll be a safe boy, nothing yeah. fancy. I mean, um, you know, during the road trip, right? Like when we got those shots of us skiing, like Manu was holding a very expensive camera. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. And he was, going he, he was very chill, fast. going very fast, but he was he was chill with it. Yeah, yeah, yeah I a mean, bit, it's, it's a bit nice. too chill. I was like fighting for my life in the slope and he just goes <laughs> past me backwards <laughs> holding a camera. I'm like, fuck you, <laughs> Manu. <laughs> yeah. Such a flex. <laughs> now these goddamn Europeans. Yeah. It's fun. I, I did, started doing the thing where you just been around when I was with the camera, but it just looks like you're just disorientating people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm like, damn, it doesn't, you don't realize like, damn, that's that's kind of hard to do. It's kind of yeah. hard to show you guys. Yeah, exactly, exactly. But I guess it's it's fun. It was really interesting. It was a cool test. Um, I, I basically saw that Rob did it. Mm. That's how I do most of my streams. I've Rob did it. I was like, all right, I'm gonna try and I'm gonna try and call. I can do it now. Yeah. I'm like, let me try. I I always thought, man, I should try it, but I just didn't know if you could get signal. And the answer is, you kind of can. Yeah. We we could get signal on the main slope, but the mm. moment we went into like valleys, mm. it just died. Yeah, right. yeah. Because uh, when we, because I just came back from Journey Across Japan Five in yeah. Hokkaido, and uh, Pete, who was with us, yeah, uh, he streamed like the behind the scenes for like a couple of days. Yeah, I saw. I saw. Um, it was cool. Yeah, it was really really cool. And in, like the most was, remote parts of Hokkaido. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And it's like you know, obviously some parts like the the signal was dying, but it was surprising the amount of places we actually got signal. Yeah, Japan's really fucking good at signal. Yeah. Um, if this was in Wales, it wouldn't it couldn't be done. Yeah. No. <laughs> anyway, I, I remember not even I, in Cardiff. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I remember IRL streaming in Brighton, one of the major cities in the UK. Yeah. And it was like dropping out left, right and center. The moment I got like even like mm. 50 meter radius of the beach, I was yeah. like, oh, I guess, okay, signal's gone. Can't yeah. show you the beach guys, sorry. Yeah, yeah. Jesus. It's like, I mean, I, obviously by the time this comes out, my RV thing will be done. Fingers crossed it all goes well and smoothly. That'd be really funny if it went terribly and this age poorly. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm sure it went great, I'm sure it went great. I prepared very well. Um, yeah, it's like, Already doing on on location shoots is hard. Yeah. But yeah. then when you have to be like, okay, we want to shoot on this location, um, but we need signal. <laughs> it's like, oh, that's a that's a that's a big big thing to worry about. Yeah. Yeah. Now suddenly you have to plan everything out about where you maybe have it's a infrastructure. whole other layer. You yeah. have to like to worry yeah. about. Yeah. But there's there's, there's it, it's getting better, and luckily this is probably like one of the best countries on earth to kind of test outdoor shooting and IRL stuff. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, it's compared cool. to some, uh, compared yeah. to a lot of Western countries. I mean, mm -hmm. I mean, when I when I would like go home, for example, you know, I, I would I 
the first time I went back to the UK after living in Japan for like two years, I went back and I was like, yeah, man, it feels good to just, you know, get off the plane, have 4G. You're like, great, yeah, because it's London mm, and it, yeah. it kind of works. Yeah. Then I remember getting the train to Wales and literally the moment we got out of like the greater London area, I was like, oh, I can't load a YouTube video. <laughs> oh, I remember I, I got in the habit of downloading everything because this happened all the time. Yeah, and I was yeah. like, I'm sure, it'll, I'm sure it'll come back. It did not come back. Like until, at all? Until the train stopped. <laughs> Holy shit. It just did, I could I could maybe get a text in or a message, right. but like I, I couldn't watch anything. And I was like, oh, this fucking sucks. <laughs> like, I guess if you- What did people do before yeah. smartphones? Yeah, like, I guess if you're just like moving even at a rem remotely fast speed in the UK, <laughs> it just doesn't work well. Yeah, at least yeah. where the trains go through. I think the roads are a bit better because more often than not, cell phone towers are built very closely to roads. Mm. Yeah. Um, I, I'm assuming, I don't really know why, but there just is. Same in Japan, all the, because basically how I do a lot of the deciding of can we film here or can I do an IRL thing here is I have to go to a cell phone map t tower. It's right. oh, open wow. source and you have to go through all the mobile networks in Japan and just look and there'll be like dots of where they are. Right. Yeah. And if there's none nearby, it's like, well, guess we're not doing it there. Yeah. Cause I was about to say, it's like, even like in Japan, you could be on the Shinkansen traveling at 300 kilometers Oh, you never hour. get it, yeah. it's so bad. And it's it's full bars the whole way. Yeah. Oh, yeah. oh really? Oh, the yeah. one, we came recently from Hokkaido and yeah. at least for the first three hours yeah. or two hours, there was none. It was so bad. From Hokkaido? Yeah. But that's yeah, probably yeah. because you were in the, the long well, ass the, tunnel, right? There was the tunnel yeah. and then you would come out of the tunnel, immediately go in another tunnel, go out of the tunnel, go in. Like, oh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. Um, but yeah, I mean, normally in Japan, they just, they, they built them all along roads. Yeah, what I, that makes I don't sense. know if it's the same. In, I'm assuming it's the same in the rest of the world, but it was, yeah. Mm. Yeah, do you remember- Very tedious stuff. Do you remember life before smartphones at all? Yeah. Yeah. I, I remember it and it just it just feels so fucking, <clears throat> so alien to me. Yeah. Dude, I, I remember like when I was like, you know, 10, 11 years old and you know, it, cause it's Australia, uh, yeah. we still had dial up. And uh, every time I would go to my friend's house and I'd be like, yo, I found this really funny animation on Newgrounds. We should watch it. And we would sit there for like three hours as a loaded. <laughs> and I'd have to tell, and I'd be like, uh, excuse me, uh, uh, I need you to get off the phone. Yeah. Right. Like right now, just, just, just for like the next two hours, don't pick up a phone yeah. because I really want to show my friend this fucking animation. It's yeah. sick. And the animation would last like a minute. And I'd be like, <laughs> Worth the wait. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think it's really cool that we were able to experience such a dramatic shift in like yeah. in human life. Oh yeah. Um, something that I guess, I mean, has there been anything this significant in a long time that's no, changed that everything? I, it's it's, it's industrial in, it's revolution. In, yeah, it's insane. <laughs> it changed right? life that much. <laughs> yeah, I, rem I remember like, I remember the first time, um, the first time I had not experience with an iPhone, but like experiencing the kind of like potential it had. Mm. Uh, because I'd, I'd never, I'd never been that kid that would have like the best technologies, mm. not even close. Um, so I remember it was two thousand. It was two thousand and eight. I was eighteen, uh, and uh, we had heard about some guy. <laughs> This, this sounds like an episode of The Inbetweeners. We had heard about this, some like a mate of a mate of a mate yeah. who was throwing this massive party in the middle of a farm. And okay. uh, of course we were, we were just like- oh, I think you've told us about this. Yeah, I, I, this, this was like the farm party where some guy burnt down- The couch. The couch. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I don't think I ever told you the story about how we got to this party. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, so, so that, that was the party. How we, how we got to this party was, okay, this is like, it was a farm in the middle of butt fuck nowhere, right? Mm. Um, somewhere in like the South Down somewhere. And uh, I, I was a designated driver. So, you know, didn't drink at that party or anything. I was I was a designated, dri designated driver because I was the only one with a driver's license at the time. Okay, okay. Of course. And uh, at the time, uh, didn't, you know, the iPhone just got announced at uh, 2007. So mm. uh, when I got sent the address, I was gonna be, I was busy being like, okay, I need to actually note down the route to this address. Yeah. And one of my mate goes, nah, we don't need to do that. Don't worry. I have this new thing. It's an iPhone. <laughs> It's permanently connected to Google Maps. Don't worry, we can find our way. And I was like, you, you for real? You for, we can do that? The future is now. The, the future, that's the fucking future. And he was like, yeah, don't worry about this. I got this. So he's like, he's like directing me the, like he's like directing me the entire way in Brighton, getting how to get out of the mm. city and stuff. I'm like, holy shit. This is the fucking future. Yeah. I don't fucking, I don't believe this. Yeah. And then, 
as soon as we get just a little bit out of the city here i'm driving down the road and then there's a there's a cross section coming up there's a turn coming up i either go left or right and i go uh this this car is like full by the way but my, my mates directed me and, and i go uh do i go left or right there's an answer and I, he goes do i go left or right uh hold on a second um yeah the 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 cross section is coming out uh do i go left or right uh i don't know <laughs> Uh, it's kind of loading right now. Uh, I don't think we have any signal. So, <laughs> oh, <laughs> so, great. Great. Thanks, man. Yeah, so cheers. to put things in perspective, uh, we're, we're, we're what we think is about a 15 to 20 minute drive from the place. Uh, where we are right now, there are no street lamps. There are no lights. It is country roads. Yeah. yeah. So we, we've gone from full, like, you know, future tech to back to the stone ages, okay? <laughs> because we, <laughs> we, we have a group of five people in this car where we know we're 15 minutes away from this really banging farm party that everyone in like the town is going to, but we don't know how to get there. Jeez. And so we kind of just choose right. <laughs> And we uh, we drive for about You're playing a visual novel. <laughs> we are playing a visual novel. We basically just we 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 basically like we we basically drive around. We we waste an hour and a half driving around every little country road we can find until we find a road that resembles the road name of the address that we right. know. It takes us an entire an hour and a half to find. We have no idea where we are. Yeah. We probably. Thinking back, we probably should have gotten lost and uh, <laughs> not known how to get the, get get back because we were fucking stupid teenagers. Oh, um, but yeah, that that was simultaneously the moment I figured out the potential of smartphones uh, and the limitations of technology when uh when you don't have the right infrastructure. You just in reminded place. me of like this memory I had of in my mom's car when I was growing up in the in the back of the driver's seat you know how there's usually like a pocket for like putting like you know stuff in it I don't think cars today normally have this yeah but um in this pocket I remember when I was like really little there was this book of the entire map of the Sydney area right and it was just this giant like fucking encyclopedia ass looking yeah, book yeah. Like, that yeah, thick yeah. and it's like you'd have to like flick through being like all right address <laughs> Fucking I remember that. suburb, and yeah, then you'd yeah. have to like be like fucking looking at it like yeah. this, like under the car light, just being like, "All right, uh, turn left here, I think." Like, <laughs> just like, and then now it's just like, yeah, it's just all on your phone now. It's so much better. I, I am completely content with giving Google uh, and letting it be my overlord and having all my data mm. uh, for the convenience that it gives me. Yeah, um, I'm like, yeah, sure, just take all my information, dude. I. I'm not going back to that. I, yeah, nah. I also, I, I mean, I'm, I don't know if you guys feel this way, but I forget so much and I realize how much I do forget mm. because I, I turned this on and I know people are like, why would you do this? You know, the thing where it can like keep track of where you've been. Yeah. Mm. And a lot of people are like, well, I don't want it fucking storing where you've been and invading your privacy. And I'm like, yeah, it's fine. But like, I already fucking live so fucking publicly anyway. I don't give a fuck. Yeah. I forget so much. And that, that thing telling me where I've been is super helpful for me figuring out where I was and what I did on certain days. Cause yeah. I'm like, someone's like, man, when was the last time we hung out? I'm like, I don't know. And I went, <coughs> dude, we went here, we went here, we went here. I remember this night now. Like I can't remember it. <laughs> like I can't remember anything before. And yeah. then when I remember yeah. where I've been, it like yeah. all unlocks the memories yeah. for me. Yeah, yeah. And it's so weird. Cause I feel like, man, is my brain just holding onto a bunch of fucking useless memories I can't access? Oh, definitely. Unless yeah. something like triggers it open. It Absolutely. Is. That's just unfortunately how memory works. It's yeah. way better. It's way better to have like, if something is there to jerk your memory of something, yeah. then it's way better. It's way more efficient yeah. than just trying to grasp it from- Yeah, yeah like you, you've ever had like moments where you've like smelt something and it like triggers a memory from way this. back when. I have that every time I smell a campfire. Mm. Like every time when you smell like the smoke of a fire, yeah. it just reminds me of like, this one camping trip I went on when I was like seven years old with no, my dad. And like, yeah, I, I can I perfectly vision everything at that moment. Yeah. But until I smelt that smoke, it was just completely forgotten in my head. Huh. And I'm like, why is that? Huh. That's so weird. <laughs> and it's only with specific smells as well. I don't know why. Well, it's not just that, it's a state of mind as well. Yeah. <clears throat> I mean, have, have I talked about this? But like, if you do something when you're drunk and then you forget about it, uh, like you're, 
if you're in that same state of mind, you're more likely to be, be able to remember that thing you've forgotten. Right. Because it happens all of the fucking time with Sydney. I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna tell you this right now. There, there, is, there are a lot of times where Sydney misplaces a certain item. We look, yeah. we like turn the entire place upside down looking for this item that she's yeah. lost. And every fucking time, next time she's drunk, she's like, I remember where I put it. Mm. And I'm <laughs> and it's <laughs> and I'm just like, like get drunk again quickly. <laughs> yeah, all right. See, so, you know, I got this bottle of vodka. Okay, we're gonna find this thing right now. We're gonna find the house keys. <laughs> Man, I, I feel like I forget things so much more now mm -hmm. than I did like five years ago. I don't know what that, if that's a bad omen I think or it's what. just because you're doing more stuff, right? I think I'm doing a lot more stuff. I got a lot more on my plate, but yeah. like, I'm so forgetful. I, I place things down. Like I, I have these uh, like running headphones. I lose them all the fucking time. Mm. Cause Welcome they're like, my life. yeah, I write <laughs> like, and then everyone's like, son of ADHD. I'm like, no, no, no. <laughs> Everyone wants to diagnose me with ADHD every yeah. goddamn week. Yeah. I'm like, I, I, I don't <laughs> have a hard time focusing. I just forget things. Um, yeah, and it's like, I'm like, man, I swear I, I wasn't like this before. <laughs> Why am I forgetting yeah. things now? <laughs> and it's like a battle. You're like, I'm, am I getting old? Am I, am I becoming 80 years old? Am I uh, starting, uh, no, starting I young? I totally get I, that. I think, I think it's a mixture of things because we, we touched on this before, mm. uh, but I do feel the general attention span of the entire human race is just getting smaller and smaller because right. mm. because of the internet. Mm. Right. You, you mentioned the Netflix thing like a few podcasts ago mm -hmm. and, I, and I had this thing um, recently where I was going through like YouTube shorts and if it even buffers for like a millisecond, I'm like, no. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Did you ever have the, no, you yeah, watch a YouTube yeah, video yeah. and you're just like, it, you watch a short and it buffers for just like, you see that spinning wheel for a millisecond. Yeah. I'm like, no. Nope. I didn't even go to the next short. I just closed the app. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> right? I'm, like, right, I'm like, maybe this is the app telling me that's enough of that. Like, yeah. Maybe I should go do something productive. <laughs> yeah. yeah, either I just turn off the app or yeah. I, I go to the next video immediately if I see that. Yeah, like, yeah. Holy shit, what is wrong with my brain right yeah, now? Yeah, man. And it's like, you know, it wasn't even like 10, 20 years ago where I'd be like, oh, I have to wait three hours for this movie. Yeah. Yeah, easy. <laughs> no worries. I'll just go do something else. Yeah, it's no big. Uh, you know, yeah, I just feel like all this all this technology and uh, stuff, and I'm just a rumorous right now saying this, just feel like there's like weird side effects that we don't really understand to a lot of the mm. being, being on all the time. And I'm yeah. like, man, I don't know what it is, but it feels like something's weird. Yeah. And yeah. we're in this doomsday-esque situation. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know why. I'm like, eh, I'm sure it'll be right though. Google Maps tells me where I was. <laughs> it's like, it's like yeah. do you ever get that thing of like, you know, I'm sure this is common with everyone nowadays, but like, if you're I like- hope. Is uh, anyone's dick I doesn't yeah. work. Yeah. <laughs> it's just common, I'm sure it's common. Yeah, do you just like take a picture of your dick sometimes? You know? <laughs> no, it's, but like, like, it's like the water droplet on the phone meme. It's like, do you, do you hate it when the water drops on your phone, text all your friends that you're gay? Yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> <laughs> like, shit, why does it No, but it's like, you know, I'm sure like, you know, whenever anyone goes to take a shit, you're just like, all right, I'm pulling out my phone, you know, checking out some shit while I take a shit. You know, it's common thing nowadays, but like, have you ever had those moments where you go into the toilet, maybe you're busting mm. for sure, you're prairie dogging, and you're like, all right, I've got no time, I gotta run in right now. And you sit down and you realize you've left your phone in another room and you're like, well, fuck, what, now what do I do? <laughs> <laughs> I try and enjoy the shit. That just, that just makes me think. Yeah, I think. What did, what did I do before? I had <laughs> like ge genuinely, I'm like thinking back because I had a good, 13, 14 years of my life without a mobile phone. I must have done something while I shit, but I can't for the life of me remember I, I, what I, I did. I think, used to think, <laughs> yeah, I think we used to think about stuff way more than we do now. Cause like, I think it's really easy to not have to think about stuff. Yeah. Cause you can always just open up Twitter. You can always yeah. be consuming, right? And it's kind of weird. Cause then you have those moments where you are forced to maybe sit there and just thinking, you're like, wow, this is a strange sensation that I have to do this. And like, yeah. that's concerning that, that that's like a thing, right? Yeah, like it's gotten to the point now where like recently I can't even shower without a YouTube video playing in the background now. Like I, I, I put on like some audio. Serious? Yeah, like I- I, I mean, used I bath and I was watching a YouTube video, but I'm like, that's- yeah, like but even if it's a shower, I'm like, yeah, I got enough time to like watch a video while I shower, you know, maybe like a five minute is my last- sacred place where I can think. That's why I take so long in the shower, man. I just don't, that, I don't want to think. That I mean, is that's my, my last sacred place. I think place. honestly my favorite thing about the onsen is that I don't get anything from the outside world. That's true. It's like yeah. one hour where all I do is bathe and think mm. and chill, maybe talk to some friends. But yeah. a lot of the times it's just me, the bath, maybe the sauna. And I, just, I just think, man, I just think about What do you stuff. think about? 
<laughs> life. <laughs> that man's the dick across the room. I'm like, Ooh. it's like, damn it, it's bigger than mine. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. It's weird. Um, yeah, it's, it's almost uncomfortable. I think, and it's it's concerning. It's I guess comfortable being by yourself. No, it's, it's, <laughs> I, I think it's, it's strange because, like, if you're a kid now, maybe you never even have to think, think about anything. Yeah, like, you can just constantly be consuming or preoccupied. Yeah. And what does that do to your brain? I have no idea. Yeah. Do you ever, do you ever talk to your parents uh, and they talked about how they were like when they were younger? Back in my day? Back in my day. How so, how so? I just like, just talking to my parents and uh, you know, whenever they go out to a party with their mates or whatever, whenever, whenever they were teenagers and uh, they would just tell their parents, okay, I'm going, hang out with friends, bye. And yeah. just be like, there would okay. be, no way to contact them. Yeah. And just, you would just, as a parent, you would just have to hope your, they your, weren't kid, dead. your kids <laughs> are alive. Yeah, I mean, I think, I think is like, obviously if that's, if contacting them is never an option and it's yeah. never been an option, mm. yeah. then it's something that you're like, oh no, this is normal. Yeah. Right? Like, mm. and I think that the moment phones get introduced, you're like, oh, now I, now I can, now I can check. Cause yeah. that, that feeling where you'd be worried, you just convince yourself, oh no, this happens all the time. Yeah. Mm. Right? Mm. But now it's like, okay, you can just message. Yeah. And now they didn't reply. You're like, right. fuck off. Then you start to freak out. Yeah, right? Yeah. So I, I think that we're just really good at adapting to whatever circumstance we're in. Mm. And if we don't have a way of contacting, we don't give a fuck, we'll, we'll adapt. But if we do, yeah. then we're like, oh God, oh God, oh God. God, I remember, yeah. I remember my mom talking about, you know, early in her life, uh, going through some long distance relationships mm. and uh, having to wait months. That is weird. For a physical letter. Oh yeah. And I'm just like, Oh, I cannot even like fathom that. Yeah, yeah that's weird. People in the that's... 1800s are like first time. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's strange to me. Yo, yeah, someone I... just someone just dropped in my DMs, man. Look yeah. at this. <laughs> but I, I guess it was normal. All right, sweet. <laughs> It, but it's also like, you know, how maybe you, you go to the onsen, right? Like you get yeah. naked and, you, and that's a completely normal concept. If, but in the Western world, it's not a concept anymore. But yeah. maybe yeah. it was at one point. Mm. Yeah. But it's like, we're just, we just get told things that like, this is normal. This yeah. is normal behavior. Yeah. And then we're like, oh, okay, cool, cool. And we just, we just adapt yeah. like straight yeah. up. Yeah. I, th I think humans are just very, you know, we're very good at adapting to situations. Sure. We're very good at adapting even to uncomfort and, uh, oh, hell yeah, yeah mm. even if a situation is bad, uh, we're just, our brain is just, I think, built to just adapt to it. Uh, just because sometimes it takes more efforts to try and combat it than to actually just go along with it. Yeah. And, and that's why like sometimes when I am on YouTube shorts and TikTok a lot of times, if I feel, if I, sometimes I can like, it's almost like I can feel my brain chemistry changing some, some sometimes. And as soon as I feel yeah. that like hook, I'm like, no, this is this is an uncomfortable <laughs> feeling. I'm gonna stop now. Yeah. Otherwise I'm going to be here for three hours. I think it makes me dumber. It definitely I mean, does. I it definitely does. It makes does. me dumber. Like yeah. I genuinely feel like I lose intelligence every day. <sighs> I mean, Maybe that should have me thing. No, I, I think so as well because, okay, okay. Yeah, I, I think so as well. Yeah. <laughs> I'm okay with that. Yeah. Okay yeah. with that. that sounds like a you problem. Yeah. Right? I, I don't know what you guys have been recommended recently. Like, yeah. I don't know why I've been recommended this shit recently, but I feel like every other YouTube short or TikTok I've been recommended recently is a fucking clip from some podcast or something. Mm -hmm. And they talk about this random historic fact. And then the the evidence- Did you know that in the Egyptian days, they didn't have ADHD. Yeah. They used to just spank them into it. And it's like, and then they had that- They music. just executed them. Yeah. They had that, yeah. that one TikTok music. You yeah. know, these that one's like- Yeah. yeah. That one. Oh, the, the one I always see is- Oh yeah. <laughs> the stranger thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 And it's just like, did you know about this piece of evidence that we uncovered in like, in like the- Af uh, the uh, Amazon rainforest that yeah. no one talks yeah. about. Yeah. Lost civilization. Yeah. That's all I'm saying. And, and I'm just like, why yeah. are these all getting recommended yeah. to me some way? And I'm like, Somehow. you know what? You got me. Let's see <laughs> <do> the next <laughs> one. <laughs> I'm like, you know what? You know what? There is That is pretty strange that there are pyramids all over the world and everyone decided to build them in the same shape. Oh no, wait. How many possible shapes can you arrange like stone blocks? There's <laughs> like, you can give like a five-year-old Lego. He'd probably, he'd probably be able to build the great pyramids of Giza by himself, yeah, you know? Yeah. And it's, <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. There are a lot of TikTok holes and YouTube short holes that you can easily fall into. And I feel like sometimes it makes you feel smarter while you're watching it and then you stop it and you're like, I think I actually got dumber. Like, yeah, I've yeah. watched so many Netflix documentaries we've talked about like a million times on this podcast and I barely retain any of that information. <laughs> and I don't know why. 
Like, yeah. Why do I not retain any information from stuff I watch? I think it's because it's not significant to your life at that moment, right? Or or probably for the foreseeable future, right? Mm, because if yeah. it's like, you know, if it's something that has to do directly with like, you know, your way of living, right? Yeah. Say if it's like, oh, I got to learn how to use this new piece of tech or a yeah. new software that actually is going to help me in the future, then you're going to retain that information. Yeah. But if it's like, Oh, I watched this uh, documentary on, you know, Jeffrey Epstein and why he was a sh you know, horrible fucking person, right? Then it's like, okay, well, that's information that's good to know, but it's not integral mm. to my survival, you know? Yeah, I guess so. I don't know. Like I sat through the whole fucking Epstein documentary and the only thing I fucking pertained was that he was a piece of shit. That's well, I, mean, like, I, I, so. I, I saw all the details and I'm like, do I remember any of the details? Not really. It is weird. It's I don't weird. Know, I don't know why we like. I, I when I see people who are uh, like know everything about a show they love, I'm like, God, I wish that. I wish I had that. <laughs> I wish I. I wish I cared to retain any information about right. half the shit I watch. I don't know. I feel like that actually loses. I, what do you mean? Every like they know everything. Like, about like when show you hear about people who are like obsessed with like Star Wars and right. they mm -hmm. can just tell you every little detail about it. I'm like, man. Yeah, but that's <clears> probably their life, right? Like yeah. that's that's, that's what their thing. Yeah, yeah, but I wish I had that thing. passion to give a fuck to remember anything. I don't even, I've watched so many anime and I feel like half, more than half, like th two thirds, like I watched all of Chainsaw Man yeah. I, and I forgot who Aki was. I was like, <laughs> Malian was like, oh yeah, like Aki, that character. I was like, who's the who? fuck? I'm like, who the fuck is Aki? Okay. She's like the wolf guy. I'm like, yeah. Oh yeah, I guess. I just remember Denji and Makima and Power. Like, I, 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 I yeah. kind of get that because I um I, I I think this just reflects my real life as well. I'm just awful with names. I'm so bad. I'm with so names. bad at names. Like I have names? so many. I have so many people who have meeting up with like three or four times. Yeah. And I feel like I'm too deep to ask them for their name again. Okay. But I don't know it. Yeah. I I'm, I'm like I'm, like, I'm, like isn't that bad? No 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 no. I'm exactly like, three is like the magic number, right? And then like. After three, I'm you like, cannot ask for I'm like, this is too much. This is too much. I, There's so many times I've met a person or I've met someone. But it's like YouTubers, right? Because yeah. they have screen names. I know yeah. their screen name, but mm, I don't yeah. know their real name. Yeah. I, I, I have this, I, I'm going to call myself out on this, but okay. every time I meet someone new and maybe like I exchange lines with them, right? Yeah. Um, you know how you can like change the names to whatever yeah, on your contacts, right? Uh, I do this thing where just so I don't forget who they are, I put their name and then in brackets, I put in where I met them okay. as, <laughs> as their contact name. Mm -hmm. So I'd be like, if I met a guy called like Jacob uh, in Orsaka, right? And yeah. it was like the first time I met him, I barely talked to him, but we exchanged lines. In my line, his contact would be Jason, and then in brackets, guy I met in Norsucker. That seems so inefficient. <laughs> no, because it helps because me now, to remember. This is like memento. Like you're yeah. chasing the plot to find out. No, how but then, you know but them. then, because I've had so many moments where if it was just the name, I and you know maybe we don't message for a while, yeah. right? And then I suddenly get a message from Jason like a couple of months later, mm. and I'll be like. Who the fuck's this guy again? God, oh. I, I play this game every time I have a family reunion. I played this game <laughs> at my recent wedding yeah. in, in, in Thailand. Um, when I, hopefully no one's, none of my family's watching this right now, but um, I'd be talking to one of my aunts or one of my cousins or something, mm -hmm. haven't met them in a while. And I'd be like, it's it's even harder because they have Thai names as well. Right, so yeah. my, my brain is trained obviously to English names, yeah. uh, to Western names because that's the environment I grew up in. Um, so I know that I only have a certain amount of cousins and I've met all of my cousins and I remember all of the name of my cousins. Mm. But sometimes I'm like, are you this name? Yeah, you, when you mix it or up, are you worst. that name? <laughs> and I'm like, Mixing oh. up is so bad. And and like I I love <clears throat> I love all of my family and I we have a great time every time we meet them. But this time especially was like an especially extended period since I've met a lot of my extended family. Um, and some some of my cousins I actually used to be really close to, and it's because it's just been so long. I remember being at the wedding and. Uh, a, f a few times, my cousin's like, "Yeah, do you remember? Do you remember where we, when we did this when we were kids?" And I was like, "Fuck, that was a good memory." And in my mind, I was like, "Shit, what was his name again? <laughs> is it, is it, is it this P or is it that P?" I was just like, "I just, I've, I was like, do you remember Paul?" And it's like, uh, "My name's Pete." <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was like, "Oh yes, of course, I knew that." <laughs> yeah, so still got to like try and figure out what I, I know. There's a probable life hack to be like, how do you ask for someone's name without knowing you're asking for someone's name? It's, you know? I think it's impossible. I think, yeah. Uh, you just have to bite the bullet. And if you think it's you're gonna get caught out, you just gotta be like, what's your name? 
Yeah, it, yeah. especially if it's just the two of you, then it's yeah. impossible. But if there's like a third person there, then you can just be like, please say his name. So yeah. please I, I, say I, his I, name I, I had, uh, had like dinner with this guy who was a YouTuber mm. and he was talking about how he met another YouTuber who doesn't say their name, but he also doesn't say his name publicly. Mm -hmm. And so he's saying about how he couldn't remember the guy's name that he told him one time. And I was like, ah, that's so funny. Meanwhile, I was thinking, fuck, I can't remember your name. <laughs> and I was like, and I thought in my head, I'm like, I should just ask now. This is the perfect opportunity. Yeah, yeah. And I didn't, and I regretted it so much because I still don't know their name. <laughs> to this day? I still don't, and I've hung out with them three times. <laughs> yeah. it's like, I, but I know their YouTube name. Right, yeah, and right. I'm like, and on everything I have him on, he, he it's, his real name is not on it. Right. Yeah. And I'm like, fuck, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta figure out how At to get At that point, there. I'm just like, I'm sorry to sound like an asshole, but just yeah, tell I mean, me what your yeah. name is again. Obviously, it would be totally fine if I just say it. Yeah. If I just yeah. say, I'm a fucking idiot. Yeah. yeah. I, I forgot your name. No one's gonna give a fuck. No. But also, it's like, I don't know, in your head for some reason, you think it's gonna always gonna be worse than, than it is. So you, yeah, you just, course, you're, like, course, you're yeah. like, you kick it down the road and hope they say it. It's, it's like, yeah. It's like so bad for me that sometimes I ask for someone's name and as like they say it, I like, oh, that's cool. And, and I'll like, immediately forget and it. And you just, you immediately just forget it. And you, I, I you, are you, they literally said their name like five microseconds ago and you're like, I've already forgotten it. Yeah. Shit. I, wish, I wish I was Shit. as good with names as I was with faces. Like, I yeah. feel like I'm so good with faces. Like I remember yeah. I retain faces really well, mm. but not names. Yeah. I think that's very common though. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, I feel because like I I'm so bad with names, but like when I, I look, I would look at a face of, of like a photo, or like in real life, and I'd be like, I've definitely met you before. Yeah, I just forgot what your name was and what you do. <laughs> <laughs> but I know I, we've met um, somewhere. I recognize that face from somewhere. Whenever I think I know someone's face at like yeah. a like a fan meetup, like if they've come a, a few times yeah. over however long, yeah. I'll always go for it. I'm like. I met you before. Yeah. 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 And 90 percent of the time they're like, nope. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, I don't, I don't think so either. <laughs> no, no, then then you can use that to be like, oh, okay, because like, you the one time you, you do remember, yeah. it's, they're like, <sighs> Yeah. Yo! Yeah. So uh, now, now I'm gonna break everyone's dreams here. I said do, I, do you have we met before? No, I say you see, if I, I if I've I've been in situations like that before with fans and I like how I but kind of get myself okay, out of okay. it would be like, oh, because you look like someone I've met before. Yeah. No, because I feel like I, I just got on the full limb, dick yeah. on table. I'm like, I've met you before. Yeah. And then they're like, no, no. no. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's your problem. You because, don't, you don't, you don't come in as a question. Because the, the payoff is so good like that. Like I feel yeah. like what, because there a few times I've been right. I'm not just saying this to everyone. Everyone's going to be like, everyone's going to start troll, trolling me with this now. But the few times I did get it right, they would they would all look so genuinely happy that yeah. I was like, yeah. Oh. Yeah, but like, the, the, think about like the rate. That's like, you know, being like, was, uh, this next Pokemon move going to be critical hit. Well, <laughs> it's like, it's like well, it was the like, success rate I, I, is I so think, low. I think as time went on, and obviously the audience grew. Yeah. I got worse at it. Of but course, like, yeah. For the first few years, I was I was so good at this. Oh, yeah, I yeah, retained yeah. Na names, I, well, not names. I retained faces so well, and I yeah. remember who I had met. For sure. But then sometimes people are like, do you remember me? And I was like, no. And they're like, oh, I cosplayed this person. I'm like, what was well, help me out here. You were cosplaying. How am I supposed to remember yeah, you? Yeah, yeah. Or like the worst is uh, sometimes people come up to you. I think I've said this before on the podcast. I'll be like, do you, do you remember me? We I, I tweeted at you. I'm like. Oh, what? And they're like, yeah, my Twitter name is this, and I have this anime character as my profile picture. I'm like, how how would I how would I put to that together? <laughs> how it's like I've never yeah, seen you. I haven't <laughs> seen your face. I haven't seen your name. And now you come to me in person with a name, and you think I can connect the two? <laughs> how? It's like, oh yes, Jason, uh, anime fan two four seven with yeah. Nagatora as a profile picture. I knew that. Yeah, <laughs> like, obviously. Yeah. You're, you're, you look like a uh, Nagatoro kind of yeah. guy. Yeah. <laughs> it's your fun now. <laughs> I, I, I remember the best, like one of one of the best saves I've ever done in my okay. life. Sure. Regarding this was, uh, this this was all also back in university, and I, I was I was at a party, and uh, I got along I got along really well with this guy, um, and I was like, yeah, let's let's hook up, let's like let's like hang out again. Hmm. Uh, I'd asked his. I'd asked for his name multiple times in this party. You know, this was like this was like three or four times. Yeah. Um, and he goes, "Sure, just uh, this is this is like college. You know, this is college for me." So everyone's still uh -huh. using Facebook. Uh -huh. He was like, uh -huh. "Sure, just add me on Facebook." Single sweat starts dropping, <laughs> and I'm like, "No, you just be like, what's the second? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I, I, was, I was like, <laughs> so initially, I was like, <laughs> so how do you how do you spell your name again?" And he goes, "Uh." 
Dave. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, oh shit, he knows. He definitely knows. And like, I just had this moment where it was just like, no, 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 your second name. <laughs> Smart, S- Dave, Smart. Smart. Oh, Fuck it. I, 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 I still think back to that moment. You know, sometimes you get a get like a memory, and I think back to that moment all the time. Like, like Dave, Dave oh, D- are you Dave? Yeah, what's the da- second name? Second Dave. name. Come, come on, come on, Dave. Come on, Dave. Dave. No, I'm not an idiot. Dave. Dave. <laughs> no, the, oh my god, you just remember, the worst one I had was um, I, like years ago. I, I I did some work for like this Japanese gaming company, right? Yeah. And I met like a bunch of their team, right? Mm. There's like three or four of them all together, right? And you know, obviously a lot of like new faces and stuff. And then the the head guy I was in contact with was like, okay. Uh, uh, you know, we'll, we'll keep working together. I'll make a line group with uh, all of us, all, all of them that you met. And I'm like, okay, sweet. You know, because I wasn't going to go home and remember these names. I'm just yeah. straight yeah. up. <laughs> but it was so bad because it was me and these four other Japanese people. Three of them have the exact same surname. What, what is it like? Yamaguchi? It was like Sato. Oh, Sato. Oh. And I'm just like, which one was which? <laughs> which Sato are you? Because it's just his Sato song yeah. for all of them. And I'm like, you gotta help me out here, bro. Like, hey, bro. at least put your picture or like, you know, what position you're in, like in the company or something. I'm like, which which Sato am I supposed to contact? It's bro. fucking horrible. Yeah, but yeah, you know, go, going back to what you're saying about how yeah, this this sort of really weird fucking danger. But go, going back to what you're saying about how there are some people who can appreciate something by knowing everything mm-hmm, about mm-hmm. that particular thing. Mm. Do you find that to you, the more you learn about something, the less you appreciate it or the more you appreciate it? More I appreciate it. Really? Yeah, nearly always. Mm. I don't know why, I just, I, the more I learn about something, the more I'm, I get excited about the small details. I, and, and I think that's something I, I'm really happy that I, I suppose I have. I didn't realize yeah. I should be happy for that, but that's mm. yeah, it's, it's, it's really you don't. Yeah, it's, it's really weird because uh, I've talked to some people like you that, you know, the more they learn about certain things, the more, I love it. Really, yeah. really appreciate. I love it. learning. Yeah, because for me, it's like a for me, it's like a two way street. Because in one sense, I do it does help me gain a bigger appreciation. Let's say like there's an anime, and I learn about the behind the scenes about how it was made, the mm. animators that did mm. some certain cuts. It makes me appreciate the art form more, and mm. it makes me appreciate the art form deeper. Mm. But at the same time. I can never enjoy this anime in the same way ever again. What? Uh, it's it's super weird. I, right? I, I, I kind of get what wait, you're saying. Wait, wait, it's, what it's, the fuck? It's, 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 the it's, magic disappears. It's right? like the it's like the veil has been uncovered and the magic just disappears. Yeah. What? It's, yeah, no. yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, what? What? It's like uh, you. So you believe like in your head? Is it like this anime is in like some kind of realm of magic where it's like I don't know how it's made. It's awesome. No, no. It's it's like the. I guess the best way I can describe it is, um, so there is this very, very famous animator, right? He's called Yutaka Nakamura. And if you've watched any big shonen, you have probably seen some of his work. You don't know you've seen his work, Mm -hmm. but you've seen some of his works because he has a very distinct animation style and he animates some of the most hype scenes Mm -hmm. in all of anime. Is he the the guy that does the block explosions? Yeah, the block explosions, yeah. yeah. So, I, I had no idea, but I had no idea about it, mm. um, about like the old animation scene. And I, I remember mm. the first time I learned about this, I was like, "Holy shit, this guy, this guy's the goat. He's the goat." <laughs> and he's like, he like he looked at all his works. And I'm like, this guy's freaking amazing. And then I remember I was watching uh, one new anime, probably like My Hero Academia season two, and I was like super super invested in uh, Todoroki versus that fight uh, was amazing. Yeah, yeah, Todoroki versus Deku. That it was fucking incredible. I was like immersed. And then in like the most hype moment, I saw his like animation style. I saw his cubes and I, it went from, holy shit, I'm invested in this fight scene to, oh look, it's a, it's, it's a Yutaka Nakamura cut. <laughs> I knew that. <laughs> and, and it just like, it just took me out of that moment in that just, just because oh. I knew, I mean, just because there was something I recognized and yeah. something that I need, like it, like I said, the veil had been uncovered, and I was like, ah, it's it's that thing I learned. About. I I think like a good like comparison is like, you know, if you're watching like a, a magic show, mm. right, and it's like you're watching the magic show and you're seeing this magician do do this trick, and you're like, holy fuck, like that was incredible, that was a mm. great trick, my my mind was blown, and then you learn how the trick was done, yeah, right, and it's this two way of like you appreciate now how much effort these magicians mm, go mm, to like, you know, yeah. do the trick and, 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 you know, show the illusion. 
but then you can never see that trick in the same way again. Yeah. I think I think that's like kind of the comparison with that, if that makes um, sense. So would this be like, to further question, would this be like your first viewing of that scene or is this like the second viewing? This would be my first viewing. Now that right, now that right. I recognize the style, I guess. Right. I it, it like took me out of the magic because I know, I guess the person behind this, um, and so it, instead of being invested in the actual show, it just took me out for a moment mm. just to, just because like I- Like now you're thinking about that animator. Yeah, and yeah, how yeah, 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 scene, yeah, right? yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Do you feel the same way when you see an actor, you know, in another new role for a, a TV series or a movie you watch? Uh, no. Because theoretically it's the same kind of, vibe, right? It's like, if you see Leonardo DiCaprio in another film, you're like, well, yeah. well it's Leonardo DiCaprio. I can't invest myself in this. Mm. No, I, I, I think I think it's slightly different. I think it's more akin to, uh, because to me, to me, an actor is a completely different job, like a completely different right, role, right? right? Mm. Um, it's it's not in the, exactly the same way with the behind the scenes of how it was made, because to me, like right. the actor is, I guess he's, he's like a different product in every movie, right? Mm. And it's their job to invest me in the character that mm. they're mm. playing, right? Um, and after I learn about what they go through with their roles and everything, I, for some reason that doesn't ruin it for me. Yeah. Um, but sometimes when I, when I know, I, I think it would be more accurate to say, if I know there's a certain director and I know a director has a certain yeah. style mm. and I really, when I was young, I don't know why I like this director. I don't know why I really like Quentin Tarantino movies, for mm. example. Uh, and then I grow older and I realize, oh, it's because of the way he does dialogue or because like characters are written mm. this way. Mm. And as soon as I notice <clears throat> the style or the pattern, yeah, and then I see it in his future works, it's kind of like, oh, I know the secret to the trick now. It's, I, I still think you can it's almost incredible. foresee what's about to come. It's, right? I still yeah. think it's incredible, mm. but there's some magic there That's that so is strange lost that you view it that me. way. I think That's... it's. I think. I think it works with like animation or like you know uh, like magic or like you know directors and stuff like that mm. because like the what you're viewing is the art yeah. and not the artist. Whereas mm. with an actor, the artist is the art. Yeah. Right. So it's. I think it's this distinction of like. If you know about the artist who is not at the forefront of whatever you're viewing or experiencing, mm. then it kind of creates two different viewpoints that can distract you from either one, if that makes sense. Whereas if you're yeah. if you're looking at an actor, right, because what because who they are is what you are seeing, it's it's harder to kind of build that distinction between the two. Okay. I An think. Another question. Yeah. When you listen to an anime, like you watch a Made in Abyss and then the soundtrack sounds amazing. But you're like, man, I just picture Kevin just making- I do. Does, yeah. that, does that ruin your enjoyment or change it in any way? F for me, when I watch Made in Abyss season two, yeah. right? And you hear Kevin's music in it. Yeah. It's fucking incredible, right? Yeah. It sounds amazing. I'm invested in the story, but then the musician side of me is like, Oh yeah, I think I know how he made this, and I kind of okay, wanted okay. to, and and it distracts me being like, oh, okay, he so he wrote the song kind of like mm, this, and mm. now all I'm thinking about is the creation process that Kevin went through yeah. to yeah. make this particular scene, yeah. and now I am distracted from actually <coughs> watching the episode. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Not all the time. Are, we, are you the same then? As I, I would. Uh, this is. I'm just gonna big up my boy for a second. Uh, I think Kevin does a really incredible job at having trying different different and new things mm -hmm. in all of his works. Mm. So he he has, I, I, I would say, I don't know if he's still discovering his style, but he's doing a lot of weird shit. Mm. Um, so what happens is I watch a scene and I'm like totally invested. And then I like snap out and I'm like, wait a, wait a fucking minute. That, that little shit made this. What the fuck, man? How the fuck did he make that's, this? That's so weird that I guess you see it that way. Cause when I'm, when I'm watching stuff, I just don't, I don't even like, I just watch it and I know that it's maybe this person or something, yeah. but I just, I just don't think about it. Like I'm just, I'm just focused on the show so much that yeah. it, I don't, you know, it's like when you hear, like, I guess a voice actor you recognize, right? Cause they're yeah. so, it's not, not even the appearance, right? It's the yeah. voice. It's like, oh, like, yeah, I, I don't, I, I more so I kind of like seeing how maybe a, that person is trying this character or I like seeing how mm. they do it. It's like, Ultimately, everyone is trying their own take on something. Right. Yeah. And I feel like if you start thinking about it too much about who's doing what and 
oh, it's their style. Oh, it's, this is their style. Oh, this is them I trying mean, this. I feel yeah. like you're so lost I, in I that. I try yeah. not to get distracted, and, but I think there's yeah. a tiny part in the yeah. back of your head that's like conscious that it's there. Yeah, I mean, so I mean to, yeah. to, to say, I don't want to. I don't want my mind to work like that. Yeah. I'm just saying that is just how my mind works. Yeah. Mm. It's it's like like going back to the Leonardo DiCaprio thing. It's less about Leonardo DiCaprio, but if I kind of I guess learn more about acting techniques and you know different more how of they like built the how role, they built the role yeah. or something, then yes, I would be very distracted in what he's doing on screen because he's like, ah, oh, he's doing that. Acting I feel technique. like you'd just be watching it differently. Like you're just you're you not. Are, you you're are. Not, watching I wouldn't it. say you're getting distracted. It's like you're watching it in a different way than I'm watching it. Yeah, like yeah. You are you are definitely watching it differently. And I do, like I said, appreciate yeah. I, I appreciate it in a different way, but it's not the same kind of enjoyment. Well, it's, it's, just... it's like the difference between watching a movie and watching a movie with director's commentary, right? Like it's it's yeah. still enjoyable, but in a completely different aspect. No, yeah. I don't want to watch director's commentary. Really? I fucking do not want to oh, watch Oh, I mean, I've, I've, I used to think that, but then I've seen some like director's commentaries of movies I really, really enjoy that I've seen multiple times. And, and it's like, because I already know the movie and I yeah. already know the subject material. Yeah. Watching the director's commentary of that movie, I know back to front, mm. gives me like another layer of enjoyment. Yeah. Where it's yeah, like, yeah. now I know the inner workings of this movie and, and what they were thinking about with particular scenes. And like, that gives me appreciation now on a completely different level. Because the only time I've ever watched director's commentary is through the YouTube shorts or TikTok that plays like, <laughs> that, plays like the Breaking Bad ones. Because yeah, they yeah, filter yeah. out all the other stuff that is is boring. Yeah. yeah. Right. A lot of the times they're just, you know, they're they not saying anything or they're talking about something completely unrelated. Yeah, yeah. 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 And you're For like, sure. all right, well, I don't care what Mike, the sound guy was talking about when they've seen that. Like, you know well, that I mean? wouldn't be a director's yeah. commentary, would it? Well, no, because they'll be like, no, 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 it's in like, they'll be like, because on director's commentaries, they'll always go on tangents. Yeah. Like we yeah, do, yeah, where they yeah. talk about something or something someone else in the set <sighs> did that you don't, you have no connection to. Right, and you're yeah. like, Bro, what the fuck is this? Well, that, that's just a bad director's commentary. Yeah. A lot of them suck though. Yeah. Cause oh, they, no, a lot of cause them a lot, cause a lot of the times, it's not the director that wants to do this. Like, well, we have a DVD. We've got to add something in to give it a little something, something. Yeah, of course. Uh, can, yeah. You, can you just watch the movie and talk over it? Mm, yeah. And they're like, okay, sure, fine. All right, yeah. well, if it sells more than copies. Yeah. You know, so I feel like it's not even, uh, those are so boring a lot of the time because they just come from a place of necessity, not from a place of actually like passion about mm, talking yeah. about it. Like on, on like the flip side though, there are some times where finding out the behind the scenes can make me appreciate something that I didn't, Really appreciate in the first place. Yeah, fucking uh, Avatar. seeing oh, Avatar, seeing yeah, Avatar two say. behind the scenes. Yeah, I mean it's crazy. Holy it's shit! Like, I'm, that, it's almost like too much. You're yeah. like, this seemed like <laughs> way too much effort for what you got. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. It's it's it made me appreciate Avatar two even fucking. I I actually find the behind the scenes of Avatar 2 more interesting than <laughs> yeah, Avatar no, I agree. 2. How they made Avatar is way more interesting than Avatar. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, every time I talk to Kevin about like, you know, stuff he did for me in Abyss and like Tower of God, it's like, that just makes me appreciate that sound even more now. Yeah. yeah. But at the same time, the next time I watch Tower of God, I'm going to have the back of my mind being like, oh, okay, so this is what Kevin was talking about with this particular track. You know, I don't want to get distracted with it, but it's going to be in the back of my head somewhere. I did have a moment fuck with Made in the Abyss too, actually. Oh, it was, it was, <laughs> it, there was, I, I can't remember the exact scene of the track, but I just remember, I just remember, uh, uh, it was one, it was one of the intense scenes in the uh, latter half of Made in the Abyss season two. There was this dramatic scene coming on. And then out of nowhere, Kevin, there's just uh, this like this synthesizer a solo just comes in and I'm just like, for fuck's sake, Kevin. <laughs> it's like, damn, this seems dramatic, yeah. but Kevin killing it on the synths right now. <laughs> Woo! I'm like, just like all the flashback of the Kevin episode just come full force. Yeah. You just imagine Kevin just fucking- <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> all those hours of Kevin talking about synthesizers has led to this moment. I'm like, for fuck's sake. <laughs> he does love his synths. He does. Yeah, he, he very much does. Like I have a similar experience with YouTubers even. Is, really? Is this just like a me thing? Like when I become personal friends with YouTubers, and I mean like, and, and I mean like more than just like, I met you once mm. at a yeah, party yeah, yeah. kind of thing. Like mm. when I actually become like friends, friends with people. Yeah. yeah. A lot of the times I can't watch their YouTube videos anymore. Mm, Not can't no. watch, but you can't watch them in the same way. Yeah. It's a different, different yeah. kind of viewing experience. Yeah, yeah. It's, and it's like, you know, it's, uh, sometimes people are like just, you know, that good. Yeah. Where you can still watch their videos and enjoy them, right? Even if you yeah. know them in a personal level, maybe because they just have that much of a great personality on, on camera. Yeah. But like, I've had so many moments where I'm like, you know what? I really hope I don't 
get to meet this YouTuber because I really <laughs> like their videos. <laughs> like I'm like that with uh, Anthony Fantano. Oh yeah. I, I, I love that man's content. I hope I never get to meet him. Just so I can continue watching needle drop videos. <laughs> this is the kind of dude, if you said that to him, he'd go out of his way to become friends with you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Please don't. Just spite you. Yeah. yeah, because it sucks because like, I've had like so many YouTubers where I'm just like, I've loved your content for years and I've wanted to meet you and you know, and I met you and you're a great person. Yeah. And then I try and go and watch their videos and I'm like, ah, it's, just, it's just not the same. Yeah, I don't I know. know. I don't know what it is. Maybe I, it's just a me thing. I, but I don't think it's just you thing. I feel like that barrier yeah. is just gone. Like when right. when you when you know the creator, mm. like like you 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 remove that I guess fourth wall. Yeah, because my you, parasocial relationship becomes a social. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> no, for real. Yeah, like. for, for real. Yeah, the parasocial relationship comes a real relationship, yeah. and you're like. Oh, you just just uh, they're just like another normal. You're just person. another like, dude, and yeah. I know I know that, and we know that everyone who is making videos is just another normal person. Mm. But when you actually get to know them and you interact with them pretty often, you're like, oh, he's just just uh, fucking Chris doing his thing again, isn't he? <laughs> <laughs> no, seriously, yeah, yeah. And, it, and it sucks because it's like you know. I've 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 had the the amazing pleasure to meet so many fucking awesome creators, you know, doing yeah. this job. Mm -hmm. But it's just gotten to the point now where I'm just like, fuck, I'm running out of content to watch, bro. <laughs> like, I can't I can't watch my friends' videos anymore. Like yeah. I have to constantly be looking for like new people's content to watch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's like, and you know, again, it's like there are lots of creators where it's like that their personalities are so maybe so far removed from yeah. the content that they make mm -hmm. where it's like, I can still enjoy yeah. their videos as just like a, a product. But yeah. like, you know, a lot of YouTubers as well, like love putting their own personalities into them. And, yeah. and a lot of those personalities that they show on screen are not that different or not different at all to how they actually are in real right. life, right? Yeah, so yeah, it's like, yeah. yeah, it becomes this really weird thing of like, it goes from like watching just this cool person on camera that you really admire and like their stuff too, to yeah. just like this equivalent of like, if a mate from high school just started making videos, right? It's just like, oh, this I, is I think this, that, this is weird. I think that would only happen for me if it was like the YouTube was a YouTuber was a deep character, and then I, you met them and hung out with them, and they were like, just like dip, chill. Oh, yeah. like completely. I, different. I, I, yeah, I don't think it would bother me. I, I mean, it doesn't bother me. If I, right, yeah, right, I'm right. Like, oh, whatever. If the video is good, the video is good. Yeah, 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 for sure, for sure. Yeah, I don't know. I feel like that's just a me problem. <laughs> I think so. <laughs> Sounds like a you problem. That is definitely a me Keep problem. problem. It, is, it is It is. an us problem. Yeah. yeah. You know, when, know. They, when they say don't meet your heroes, it's, I'm like, I felt that, man. Yeah. I know it's- it's, it's, it's your heroes are YouTubers. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's, it's even, it's, it's, it's an even weirder feeling for me. Um, like not even like normal videos where when you have a mate who does content creation, does YouTube, mm. and then they make like a serious video. Right. And then you watch the serious video um, about them talking about like this serious topic and you're like, fuck, this feels so weird right now because right. I've I've had like, you know, deep close conversations with them. Mm. Um, but right now it kind of feels like I'm reading into like their personal diary or something, you know? <laughs> I don't know, it's, it's, this, it's this super weird feeling where I'm like, I want to be there for them, but this is a YouTube video. It's right like when now, you man. find it's like when you accidentally find like their private alt Twitter account, you know, where it's like <laughs> where they like, they just like use it as a as a diary, and it's like, oh, yeah. I shouldn't have, maybe I shouldn't have seen this. I've never understood the point of having like alt Twitter accounts or alt any any of those accounts. Yeah, I mean, I obviously have different YouTube channels, but they're very yeah. different things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. and I feel like what what could warrant having a alternative Twitter account so I can I post don't, more shitty memes? I, I, post, I personally don't like, I, I do kind of understand, but I personally don't feel this way, yeah. but mm. some people just want to fucking shout things into Waste the void. The thing, yeah. yeah, just vent into the void uh, and not have to worry about the, you know, repercussions of some of the things that you get when you post stuff online, you know? Um, but I feel like, I don't know. <laughs> If, if you can't say something online, just don't say it online. Like, I feel like, yeah. do you I, need to post like every thought you have to avoid on some Twitter? Some people do. Some well, people- I don't get that. No, I, don't, I don't get that either. But you know, some people- You're just like telling, like uh, me just fucking sending messages to the NSA agent watching yeah. me. Like, like, what are you like? I, I don't get it. I mean, it's, I feel like it's- It's, it's like it's, when, you, when you find YouTubers or something, they're like, oh, they have an old Twitter account. Turns out they were super racist or something. <laughs> right. It's like, why did they do this? Yeah. It's like, 
Uh, I have a dynamite obsession. Just going to yeah. collect it in my basement. It's like, what, just, what are you what, doing? What I don't understand is people who have alt Twitter accounts that are public. Yeah, does, right. Uh, like, yeah, if, yeah. if you have an old Twitter account that's like locked, for example, then it's like, okay, they're probably just using the mm. Twitter account as like a digital version of a diary, yeah. right? Where they yeah. can just like write down how they were feeling so that they can look back on it years later, right? Yeah. yeah. But I don't understand ones that are public. And I'm like, I'm like, yeah. if you want to say it that badly, just say it on your own fucking account. I, like, I don't understand those Twitter accounts that feel like they have to post every five minutes. Dude, when I go to someone's oh, Twitter account yeah. and I'm scrolling and I'm not even on the next day, that's yeah. when I'm like, oh my God. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, oh boy. I'm like, how are you having this many sentient thoughts in an hour? Yeah. I barely have this many sentient thoughts in a day, man. <laughs> Holy fuck. Yeah. Like, <laughs> Yeah, if someone does yeah. post like, eight tweets an hour on average, that is like yeah. the biggest warning sign. That's a me. red flag. That's for like, sure. I don't interact with that person. <laughs> yeah. I, yeah. <laughs> if you start scrolling down and it says like 40,000 total tweets and I'm like, all right, <laughs> all right, maybe, maybe I should unfollow. <laughs> but it's like, I, I understand that people want like, it, it's hard for me. Cause I, I understand that people want places to vent. Mm. Um, and it's like, okay, maybe I have an alt Twitter account that's private and it's mm. just for me and my close friends. Yeah, and it's like, that makes sense. It's like, okay, I yeah. guess that kind of makes sense. Yes. But also in my head, I'm like, why don't you just message your friends? Like I, to me, it's- Plot twist, they have no well, friends. Well that too, yeah. I'm like, I'm like, in my head, I'm like, damn, it's, it's like a weird way of kind of like wanting attention from your friends without just being direct and messaging them. Yeah. yeah. And I, I'm not really, okay, I don't, this could be like a giga L take. I don't know. I mean, I just like, I don't fully understand it. Mm. To me, it's like, if you have close friends enough to have a private Twitter, shouldn't you just like hang out with them or message them or just, just no, those, I, those vents that you might have? Why I, don't you just I, hang I out agree and say with it to that. them? I, I agree I, with that. Maybe I'm wrong. I, maybe I'm missing something giant here. Uh, uh, I think you are missing something giant here. Okay, hit me. Um, <clears throat> Uh, I guess not everyone has a close, not everyone feels like they have a close friend that they can properly mm. vent to a lot of the yeah. time. You know, um, yeah. I, I think that is a big thing, especially in the age of social media, Yeah, um, mm. is that, you know, you can have friends online, mm. but there's a difference between, you know, I'm not saying online friends aren't real friends, but what I am saying is that there are still some people who you can, might not be able to feel comfortable around showing your true self mm. around. Mm. Um, and it's so much easier online to mask different sides of yourself. Yeah. That it's it's might not be as easy as just calling up your mates to be like, yo, let's have a right, chat. Right, right. I mean, obviously it's, it's, it's not always that simple, but I don't know. I feel like throwing a vent into the void that limited people have access to is also- I think it's a coping unhealth. mechanism. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's definitely like a, sounds like a bandaid <laughs> on a larger problem. Yeah, mm. it definitely is. Um, just get, <laughs> just get friends. Just get friends in it. Easy to done, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. I, I mean, first step: remember people's names. That's that's, that's, that's <laughs> yeah. a very. I mean, good I, first this step. is completely like, and I understand that I don't get it, and I, I this is something I want to understand more. Yes. Like yeah. I'm not, I'm not like, dude, you're a fucking loser if you have an alt account. I'm like, I don't understand it. Yeah. Here's my my thoughts on why I don't understand it. Yeah. Like, if you yeah. have one. Hey, it, you do you, right? I can't tell you how to act online. Like, yeah, I'm like, not your dad. You can do whatever yeah. the fuck you, can you do want. You can, you're, you're, this is Twitter.com. You are allowed to do whatever the fuck you want. You, if you're posting events, you're still posting like in the top 1% of sane tweets yeah. in my, my, my mind. Yeah. Except for having Twitter blue. Don't have Twitter, Twitter blue. Yeah, that's fucking yeah, my yeah, yeah. yeah. Then we um, will laugh at you collectively. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, and I don't know. It's, it's, uh, it's sad. Cause I feel that like a lot of people who can't feel like they can't talk to anyone. I'm like, fuck man, I wish I could. I could just be like, hey man, you tell anyway, me. You, you can talk to me, man. Don't, Don't worry. About it. Yeah. Unfortunately, there's too many people in the world. Yeah. And then also, <laughs> did you ever have, uh, were you ever on those Discord servers that uh, had like vent sections? No. Oh, you ever seen these? <gasps> that sounds like a, terrible. Yeah. That sounds, <laughs> that <laughs> sounds bad. Fuck. It's like, a, I, I, yeah. That's under, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. I mean, again, uh, number 15 to hate Discord. Um, it, they're so, they're so bad as well. Uh, yeah. there, there would be like these, like, because you know, I used to be on a lot of servers like way, way back mm. um, when Discord first like kind of started. People used to have like a, a vent section yeah, and, and, and some servers where it's exactly what you think. People would yeah. just go and vent, but then it kind of turns into like a, who is the biggest problem? And then who everyone- Who can suffer the most? And yeah. it's also like, I don't think the human mind is meant to just read Suff like suffering or, or anguish or just those emotions upon those emo just going through them and yeah. being like, oh, this is these are real problems and I like I think it just does something to your head where you're like, I don't think this is healthy to to 
participate in this or read this. But also yeah. I think a lot of people who would go to those were like desperate. And it's kind of like, fuck. What the fuck? Well, there's a reason why, you know, therapy is a one-on-one -on -one session. It's, you but know- then if therapy like, is also expensive. Yeah, yeah. right. But like, it, there's a reason why one therapist doesn't take care of 40,000 people, you know? Yeah, right. At, at the same we time. Don't have, often you don't have mass therapy. Yeah, you don't <laughs> have yeah, mass yeah. therapy. All right, no. let's get on the Zoom call. All right, everybody yeah. put your hand up one by one. Yeah. Let's go through the problems. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I got shit to do. Yeah, like right? that, it, it doesn't work like that, unfortunately. <laughs> it turns so. out I triple booked. So we got to get through this. Yeah. <laughs> 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 it just doesn't work like that. And it's like, no, but like, it, it, it is unfortunate that like, I guess this idea of, I guess like closeness in the digital world and like social media world has just been yeah. so skewed now. Mm -hmm. To the point yeah. where it's like, yeah, man, I, I message this person every single day on discord, play games, whatever. But like, because there's no physical connection there. Yeah. yeah. It just immediately doesn't feel as <clears throat> close. Mm -mm -mm. Even if in their heads, they're like, yeah, he's my, he, she is my best friend. Mm. Yeah. But when I actually have a problem that I need to vent out, I just have to take it to my alt account. Yeah. You yeah. know, it's, it's unfortunate that that's how it is. I feel like now. venting is a very dangerous game online. Like, yeah. Uh, especially if you're an influencer or- a YouTuber. Yeah, of course, yeah. 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 There's been a lot of dramas where- <clears throat> It's leaked or whatever, and then you're like, "Oh, they said what?" Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, I, apparent, I, yeah private Discord servers are never private oh, Discord dude. servers. Like the Eagle Eagle drama that yeah, happened ages yeah, ago. Yeah. There's this drama that happened where a bunch of uh, I guess the labeled as Eagles um, were, were just talking about other people in their field yeah. and being very horrible about it. But this is this is pretty common stuff. Like yeah. they, these do exist. Uh, I've, I've yeah. never been on one, but I've uh, heard of uh, them happening before. And they're oh pretty yeah. Fucked yeah. Up. Yeah. I don't understand how you would feel comfortable openly venting about other people in your industry in an open space. I feel like that's like, are you dumb? Uh, yeah. yeah. Are you, are you, wh why? Like, why would you- Keep that shit to yourself, yeah. dog. Yeah. Like, why would you like, you doing? why would you like leave that on record as well? Right? Like that's, that's what blows my it, mind. But it's insane. It's like the equivalent of going to a pub, right? And being like, I'm going to vent to my mates. Hold on, let me just record this entire conversation. Yeah, 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 right? yeah. <laughs> All right, so uh, here's what I hate about my boss. Yeah. What a fucking asshole. They well, did listen, this, listen, they did that. We all have bad thoughts, right? Yeah. We all say things maybe in private that you wouldn't say openly, right? Because yes. yeah. it's just humans and how we are. Yeah. But you're supposed to be smart and keep that shit to yourself. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. and don't fucking keep a record of it. What are you doing? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Jesus. It's like um, another thing that I, I, the main reason I kind of, I don't know how we got on this topic, but when I meant like, secondary accounts or alt accounts. One of the first things that came to mind is sometimes uh, streamers or big streamers have like alt alt accounts yeah. Yeah. to their main stream account, yeah. but they're still live to anyone. Right. But they're not on their main account, they're on the yeah. alt account. Like like a, like the waiting room accounts, right? Um, no, like the, the, it's actually their account. Oh. Like they'll just be live on an account with way less followers. Yeah. But Why? everyone openly knows. I, 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 I think if I remember correctly, it's something to do with, Maybe they, if the audience is too big on the main, they want right. a smaller audience where they just play games. They wouldn't maybe, wouldn't be considered as much content as normal. Right. Yeah. Which makes sense. But also in, a, in the same way, I'm like, that seems kind of odd though. Yeah. Like, I, I don't know. I, I, I kind of get it. So you still want to play the game, but it's not the game that your main audience wants to see, but also you can just play it offline. Where it's available to your main audience. <laughs> yeah, I, well, I, yeah I, I, I don't know. Well, I, th I feel like, a lot of streamers I met. Mm -hmm. uh, what do you say like that? A lot of streamers I met um, don't feel comfortable playing games offline anymore, <laughs> and kind of need an audience. You know, yeah, and, I love uh, I love playing games on stream, but I, but <laughs> I, I do game a little bit off stream too. Mm. But it does feel unproductive. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's such a, that feels like a weird a weird workaround to like get your brain to be like this is good still, right? Yeah, yeah. like I think you need to play games. If you are a streamer, I know this is completely unrelatable to literally everyone. Yeah. Um, you know, I, I think that it's okay. And you just need to get okay with the idea that sometimes you're not working. Yes. Sometimes you can play that game, you're slacking off and that's okay. Sometimes yeah. you can have fun. Like, like just, yeah. I think you just gotta get over it and yeah. be like- Just get over just it. Just get over it and be like, <laughs> hey man, some days it's okay to not work. Yeah, it's okay. That's fine. Totally you, fine. You know, it's it's. Yeah. you gotta have the you you time. Yeah, you're not procrastinating. Yeah. You're not lazy. You just gotta yeah. give some downtime to yourself. Yeah. You know. 
What I want to know is, is if you do have an alt account that is public, please explain the reasoning because I genuinely, hmm. yeah, I, I, I genuinely don't understand. Like I feel like the, I did a big outtake, but like I just, it's not from a place of judgment or like, why the fuck would you do this? It's, it's like, curiosity. I, I would like to know how it helps in any way or how it makes you feel. Cause to me and where I stand, I'm like, I'd just rather not be online than post that stuff. Yeah. Right? I'd rather just, I don't know. I'd rather just write a diary and burn it. I'd rather it just like that. talk to like, my mom about it or something. You know, like <laughs> I guess not, not everyone has that. Yeah, though. right. I, or you I, know, I, 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 I don't know. To me, I'd rather just not say that shit. Yeah, I'd yeah. rather just keep it in, suppress that shit, and then maybe when I'm like 80, I can tell about all the war crimes I've committed <laughs> to my, to my grandson <laughs> on my deathbed <laughs> before I pass away. <laughs> on your deathbed. You know, I, I don't know. Like to me, it's like I'm. Yeah? Chill with keeping that in. <laughs> you just you just lying on your death and being like, I leaked those DMs. <laughs> <laughs> I was the one who infiltrated the group chat. <laughs> See you fuckers. It's like granddad, how could you? It's the, what's the statue? <laughs> you're, you're, you're on your deathbed and you, you got like your grandson with you and you're like, take this. And it's like a USB stick. And he's like, granddad, what's this? He's like, it's all the receipts. <laughs> it's all the receipts. <laughs> I do like the idea of like, right before you pass away, you're like, I'm just gonna cause some chaos. Yeah. Like, I'm, gonna just, I'm gonna just drop some information. Dude, I'm, go I'm going out swinging. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going down without a fight. <laughs> If, yeah, if your kids are ever like terrible people, you just make the will like a battle. You're just yeah. like you write it in a way that causes conflict. <laughs> me when I, me when I'm when I'm a chaotic evil on the chart and I pass away. <laughs> Please me, don't do this. Me playing Game of Thrones with my own children. <laughs> <laughs> House of Dragon was so good. I want to recreate it. I, I always always uh, when we when we talk about things on the podcast, mm. I always get uncomfortable when none of us have a differing opinion about some things. I'm like fuck. We should get is this a collective health take? Because <laughs> yeah, I'm like, we could be completely out of touch on this thing. Right. Yeah. You know? I'm like, what if we're just wrong? Like, like I thought you were gonna say, I thought you were gonna say, what if we just like, what if we're falling off? We're not arguing anymore. You know? Also we're kind that, of like, like agreeing with each other. Like, isn't what, it fucking boring when we just all agree and we none of us have any devil advocates to play? Like, no, just... because you know, we still get to have like a conversation about like how we collectively feel about it, right? And yeah, you know, if if we decide to have a collective L take on it, then Hey man, at least we're all in it together. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, yeah. I'm having an L take with the boys yeah. for once. <laughs> Whenever I agree with Jerry and Garn, I'm like, man, I must be wrong. <laughs> I must I must be in the wrong here. I was like, I'm in danger right now. <laughs> so I bet people on their alt accounts are gonna vent about this episode. <laughs> They're gonna be like, why didn't they get me? Well, will we see it? Probably no, not. No, we won't see it. It's Probably not. Yeah. yeah. No, I, you know, I, I always, it's always, I always like that we get to talk about certain things that are maybe more serious or more deep on the mm. podcast, but I always yeah. do worry, I'm like, man, with three guys who we live in our own little circle yeah. and we don't have enough outside opinions sometimes. That's why it's nice having guests mm. on there as well. Yeah, yeah for nice sure. To have the differing opinions. I mean, we, 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 we I think we're pretty good there at covering yeah. bases. Yeah, mm. hopefully, hopefully. Touch, touch wood, touch wood. Yeah, I mean, I, yeah. I, I, like to, I like to think that we all have, we all come from different backgrounds. We all have different opinions and, and different ways of looking at the world. And I think that's yeah. what also, I like how, I like discussing things with you guys. Yeah. Cause when I'm wrong, I'm like, They'll tell me, right? <laughs> They'll tell me. What if we just leave you swimming and it's yeah, just like yeah. the comments will get him. <laughs> yeah. Before <laughs> like before trash days, I didn't realize how much of my life experiences and perspective was just based around, oh, it's just like a Southeast Asian thing, isn't it? Like, yeah, well, you, re you you don't realize until you get grilled online for every minute thing you oh, say yeah. that, oh shit, maybe I, I thought some things yeah. that were just wrong. Oh, yeah. it was a me thing. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> I thought it was an everyone thing. God damn there it. are something that, that are just me things. I'm like, yeah. please, please be my heritage. Come on, come on. Please stay psych. We all think all bread tastes the same, right? Fellow Southeast Asians, right? Come on. <laughs> and they're like, nah, I'm not collecting my mans today. Yeah. I'm sorry. Yeah, I mean, no. no. <laughs> In general, nobody is born knowing the correct takes or whatever is deemed the public opinion on a take. And yeah. you just have to learn it and we're gonna fuck up. And and you all fuck up at home probably. You probably just don't realize it because nobody's grilling you every goddamn second of the day, yeah. analyzing your opinions and what you meant by them. Well, well uh, that, that's the problem with uh, social media today, right? Is that mm. like, there's that, especially with content creators, there's that expectation of like, how did he, she not know about this thing that they clearly weren't raised upon? And it's like, well, <laughs> fuck me, man. Like, it's almost like I'm leaving a completely different life to you. Gen genuine question. Do you think, there is kind of like, how can I word this? 
a rage economy going on in, oh, for sure. <laughs> in yeah. social media. Like, I mean, everyone also wants to have an opinion because in, in our day and age, having an opinion on something is the only currency that we have socially. Like you just have to have a take. Like that's everyone's yeah. thing now. Yeah. And of course, because we've learned that you want to get as many likes or whatever. And we, okay, we've said this before on the podcast before, but like it's, it's to, to have likes in any direction, you go hard in any, in one way or the other, right? I, yeah. I just feel there's like, there's no winning in a situation like that. Uh, especially if you have a social media presence, because it's like in this day and age, I feel you not giving an opinion is still giving an opinion. You know, um, it's it's that whole idea of like it's, it's, it's like it's like okay so uh, what do you think about this particular situation that everyone is having an opinion on, and if you don't want to get involved, which you know some people choose not to, that's fine. Then that becomes a statement in and of itself, right? Yeah, and then exactly, people be like, I mean, why I don't do, you have an opinion on this? And I, then when you give an opinion, doesn't matter which way you go, there's going to be someone angry. I mean, I do I do kind of agree that inaction and having no kind of thoughts on it is mm. also kind of- uh, An action in itself. Yeah, because you've chosen not to get involved. Right. And it's like, what does that say about you? But yeah. right, if you don't want to get involved, yeah. but also it's totally understandable if you're just fatigued by a lot of stuff that you're like, dude, I don't, this issue, I don't fucking care about this issue. I, I, have, I have other issues that I'm, I'm see, more See, that is about. a level-headed person's way of thinking yeah, about that, yeah, right? right? But unfortunately on Twitter, there's, well, yeah, but there's a lot yeah, of people listen, who are listen, not like if that. You, if you <laughs> genuinely go on twitter.com to decide how your opinions are formed, then I think you're already gonna be having weird ass thoughts oh, and, and yeah. really bizarre and extreme opinions, yes, I think. Absolutely. I think it's, it's very important to make your own mind up. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. But, like, have, have, have you guys like noticed um, as time's gone on, um, you know, we, we talked about how attention spans have gone shorter because of the internet. Have you noticed mm. just in general, because of just some things you see online, you just end up getting like a bit angrier more often than you used to, just because of some stupid article or some stupid opinion you yeah, see. Yeah, definitely. I, 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 I feel like that, like, especially in the last couple of months, I feel like every day I open up fucking Twitter, I just, I start off with just rolling my eyes being like, oh fuck, what now? Yeah. Like what's the new thing that everyone's angry about? I'm like, I'm so sick of this shit. Can I just have a day where I just go onto Twitter and all I have to worry about is the next hentai pic I see? <laughs> like, can, can we have that back please? Like, can people just chill? Yeah, I don't know because I feel like it's really easy to get into this like self-destructive loop of like, oh, this thing, this thing like, you know, there are different tiers of things because mm. sometimes you just see a stupid tweet and you're like, fuck, why am I getting annoyed that this tweet has 20,000 <laughs> likes? Yeah. That the, why why yeah. am I this invested in someone's dumbass opinion, yeah. right? I just like, I, I hated that feeling. So I've like, I've been trying to go on Twitter and just, you know, social media less, but like, I kind of realized that I just, I just ended up like, it, it felt like, one, my brain chemistry was changing because I was getting used to the fact mm. that I would just be getting emotionally invested in things that I really shouldn't be emotionally invested in. General, different things that would have never ever mattered to me in any other circumstance or any other situation in my life. For some reason, now I'm invested in this one situation. Right. And I don't yeah. know why. Yeah. And I feel like- Because it's thrown in your face now, right? Like there's almost no escape from it unless you consciously like choose to not. I, mm, I feel face. like I have the opposite where I'm, I just kind of disassociate and don't care for any of these situations. Right. Like I, I didn't really pay much attention to, to a lot of issues recently where people get angry because it felt so insignificant and so small, mm. um, you know? And then also when you see that getting angry has the opposite effect from where it was like, oh, everyone getting angry completely defeated the point because they, they made everyone angry and then everyone had an opinion and then it, it made it even worse. Yeah. It's yeah. like, okay, so was, was all of that for nothing? Yeah. Was all of that to to for the for your main argument and main point to just be undone? Like it's like why when it seems that getting angry or getting worked up about stuff just leads to even worse consequences. I feel like and it's like it's like man, I feel like we just have to pick our battles smarter online. Mm. I just I, I feel like I I don't know if I'm using going to use the right terms though. I, I feel like there is like a subconscious addiction to it. I they love know. it. I think people yeah. love getting oh, angry. Yeah. I, I I feel like with the way with the way the internet's gone, I feel like subconsciously people are looking not like may, maybe not like consciously looking, but subconsciously, it's it's <laughs> like whenever there's something they can grab onto to get angry about or mm. like to like look at this thing and be like, look how dumb this thing is online. Yeah. Mm. Um, I don't know, there's, there's this subconscious thing in your brain that goes, yes, you should you should get involved in this. You should have an opinion on this yeah. one mm. way or the other. Mm. And I feel, I feel like the internet and social media has trained our brains to 
to do that. So yeah, I where, don't know, yeah. I don't I, like, maybe this is just me growing up in my generation, but I don't know if this is the way things worked in previous generations. You know, mm. people would just let people- like, I mean, I think the way it used to be and the way it kind of, I, I think I appreciate more and more is that you kind of just pick the battles you're passionate about. Yeah. A cause that speaks to you. Yeah. Maybe for whatever reason that is. And I still try and do that. You know, obviously if there's, if you're, I think there's a difference between um, supporting an argument and actively getting involved in it. Yeah. Mm. Uh, you know, and I, I think that's, that's a really important distinction to make and yeah. something that gets lost a lot where I think a lot of people perceive inaction as a lack of uh, kind of support in any way where it's yeah. like, well, I, in some way I kind of disagree where it's like, if, if you on, on like say on, on online or something, like let's say, I don't know how to, how to word this correctly uh, without getting my whole entire career destroyed. <laughs> um, <laughs> like it's, it's like, if you're not actively doing stuff to um, like further a cause or you're not trying to uh, like raise money or uh, spread awareness, does that mean that you don't support something? And it's like, I don't, I don't think that means you don't support it. I think it just means that maybe that's one of the things that you didn't choose to spend your energy on. Yeah. Like, there's only so many battles you can take. Yeah. Like at the end of the day, you got to go to work. You got to go to school. You got to do shit. Mm. And you can't go home every single day and be like, All right, what's the new thing? What's the new battle? What am I, what am I, uh, what am I getting passionate about today? It's like, I feel that as human beings, we, just, we were just meant to survive. And then maybe if you have the time and if it's something is really passionate, maybe it affects you directly or maybe it affects a loved one, then maybe you get more involved with it. And yeah. I think it's like expecting everyone else to feel as passionately as you do 24 seven causes a lot of friction. Yeah. Like, and I think it's it's that kind of stuff that's frustrating and it leads to people who maybe are in support of stuff to get really frustrated and really tired because other people who support it, but way more passionately are like, why aren't you doing as much as me? Yeah. Why aren't you saying as much yeah. as me? Yeah. And I think that's a really, that's been a really uh, tough thing to deal with because on the internet now, it's so much more accessible and so much more, uh, so much more, uh, so much easier to to say those thoughts to someone, and I I feel like a bit thing is that I don't know if I explained that even I thought that could have been gibberish. To yeah, people. I don't know. If that no, made no, any no, sense. that that made mm. sense because I I feel like a big thing is that it's never been easier to feel like you can be involved, you can yeah. make a difference in something, even if doing a tweet or doing a Facebook post is like the the entirety of what you can do. You still feel like you're contributing in some minute way yeah. to something, and I feel like that's feeling of that that emotion of feeling like you can have an effect, direct effect on something or someone has just caused this kind of environment. Yeah. Uh, mm. Because I, okay, theory, theory, okay. Mm. I feel like, I feel like there is a reason why there like a video trend has gotten really popular recently. Yeah. And it's the video trend of how ex YouTuber fell from fame or yeah, how yeah. this person <laughs> fell yeah. from grace, yes. right? Or how this person how got canceled, yeah. right? Yeah. I, I don't like those videos too much, but I will admit I'm fucking addicted to them. Okay. There, <laughs> yeah. There is something about those videos where I'm like, I shouldn't watch this, but my something in my brain's like, you should, you should, Watch I this. think it's because yeah. how, like- How did you fall off? Yeah. <laughs> even if the presentation is terrible, even yeah. if the, the quality video is so bad, I think the information in it is quite valuable in a weird way. Uh, in, especially in for way, people in our line of In work, a way right? that just kind of hacks your brain. But I, uh, but, it's, but it's so crap at it's the same this, time. <laughs> the, these types of videos, are the true crime for YouTubers? No, they like, are. Like, yeah, yeah. like they're, they're, we yeah, are, yeah. like we are the white girls, and those are the true crime. No, videos, I agree. Right? I agree. Because Holy okay, shit, you're right. <laughs> you know, you know what I'm saying. Because yeah. okay, I, I feel like okay, there is, I, I feel there is a subconscious part of your brain that is like I want to feel. It's, I want to feel better than someone today. I want to feel like my life is going yeah. better than someone else's today. Yeah. Okay, I, you're, I, I you're, feel- and, and there's a part of you that's like preparing for the worst. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. Because it's like learning by example. And there's a part of you thing, that's right? like yeah. preparing, okay, this is what I need oh to not God. do yeah. to fuck up. Yeah. And so even though there is probably nothing in those videos that or like maybe one video will be, will be useful, but like mm. watching 15 of those videos, there's, you know, you can't really garner anything yeah. useful out of those 15 videos. Yeah. You know the story. There's some Minecraft YouTuber. They grows <laughs> the fame really quickly and then they fell off again. We know the fucking story. Yeah. Um, but there is, there is some part of your brain that I think you watch those videos because you are kind of, 
everyone's going through some hard things in life and we want to know how to make our lives better. And, you know, even though it's not a pleasant thing, sometimes seeing someone fall yeah, from grace can make joy. yourself feel better. Yeah, and people, that's yeah. Kind people of get an, that, that, that feeling of like, ah, it wasn't me. Yeah. I don't know yeah, why. Yeah. I don't yeah. know why we would like this. Yeah, I don't know why we like this, but there is some part of you that's like, oh, I'm so glad that wasn't me. Yeah. And, and you know, it's, it sucks. It sucks because it could be us. It could be us, but you're like, you, and I, and I know that, but some part of me is like, oh, kind of, kind of. Oh, at least it me. wasn't me today. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I totally get that. Like, you could be like the most like wholesome, supportive, nice person that's like, you know, open hearted to like every person, every difference yeah. and everything. But like, you know, sometimes, yeah, like negativity or viewing negativity mm. sometimes reinforces self positivity. Mm. And it's like, that's just how we are as people, unfortunately. Yeah, yeah. One, one, one thing that I, uh, I, had a, I had thought about, and I don't know why it stuck with me a lot. Um, uh, there, was this, um, there was this charity event yeah. where, right. uh, you know, some celebrities had gotten involved and um, like big, big, big celebrities. Yeah. And um, I was having a conversation with someone who uh, was working for the charity and they were talking about, oh, how they invited this other celebrity, but they said no, because they're doing uh, another charity or something. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and I was like, oh, that's weird. Why wouldn't they want to like help both? Mm. And they were like, oh, well, it's like, in that in that sense, it's like you, you have to pick your battles. Like if you, yeah. you, there's only so many times that you can ask um, the audience or the people who are paying attention to you to, to give money to a cause. Yeah. Because yes. you, you know, You've got if you ask them one time, then you ask them again a week later. You're like, all right, well, well, dude, I just gave money. Like, what do you, what, what, you know, pick, pick the battle here. Like, pick the right cause. And it made me think of like how it is, how I could extrapolate that kind of thought to social media and how I, how, how people treat that in general. It's like, yeah, people got to pick their battles as well. Like, you, you yeah. can't always be there for everything. Yeah, people, you know, people have to pick whatever personal priority they decide yeah. to pick. Right? Yeah, I, think so. I feel it's very I think so. unfair to like criticize that unless it's for like a really, really just like objectively yeah. unethical reason, right? Yeah. But you know, in the case with like your example, right? It's like, well, shit. I mean, it's easier said than done. If if everyone had the mentality of right of like, oh, I could just do both or I could just do all of these, then we wouldn't need charities in the first place. Yeah. You know, like everyone would just be well off, right? Yeah. Everyone would yeah. just be giving money to one another. But unfortunately that it doesn't work like that. Like you you have to at the end of the day some people sometimes just have to prioritize what they need to prioritize. And th yeah. those priorities might be different from the next person, Yeah, but that's 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 just how they are. Like you, you can't, I, I feel it's very unfair to like push your own yeah. self priorities onto someone else, especially mm. if they live in, you know, completely different circumstances yeah, or yeah. completely different lives, right? And it's like, yeah, it's, it's I don't know. I've, I've that, that's always irked me. And especially when it comes to like, you know, having an opinion online about mm. anything, right? It's like, you know, maybe their priority is to not get involved. Yeah. Like yeah. that's, that doesn't mean they're any less yeah. of a person just because they're not getting involved. That's just their priority. And unfortunately there's nothing you can really do or say to like mm. change that, I guess. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. It's, it's, it's tough. <laughs> I, I, don't, I don't know what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's like you have a lot of thoughts that feel cohesive, but uh, explaining them is so tough. Yeah. Yeah, it is. It is. Um, and I'm just. I, yeah. I know that a lot of people come to the podcast because we don't talk about a lot of political issues. And I think it's also because we're, we're fucking terrible at talking about them. <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, we can barely talk about our opinions on food and yeah, uh, yeah. video games. Yeah. And I'm like, uh, I'm going to make the conscious decision to not talk about this because I do not trust my yeah. own self to articulate yeah. Yeah. A, uh, yeah. a problem. <laughs> and let alone like They're a all serious, up in here. let alone a serious problem. Yeah. Like I'm, I'm not articulating that in any way, shape nah. or form. Uh, There's people who can do it much better than we can, yes. that's for sure. Yeah. It's tough, it's tough. The, the world feels really rough right now. Yeah. yeah, I think it's hard to to stay positive and, and not get angry about stuff. I mean, there's a lot of stuff that is worth getting angry about yeah. right now. Yes. Um, yeah. So yeah, pick your battles. Pick mm -hmm. your and battles. Hopefully, uh, hopefully things change for the better. And hopefully you're hope. not watching uh, How Trash Taste Fell Off uh, in uh, three years. <laughs> It'll but. probably happen at some point. <laughs> It'll happen. Everything's got to fall off at some point. Yeah, man. Everyone's got to fall off man. at some point. So uh, I just hope it's well edited. Yeah. If it does happen, yeah. you know, make all it right. look nice at least. <laughs> <laughs> but hey, look at all these patrons though. Wow, so many of them. They made a conscious decision to support us. Oh, and that wow. I think is a great thing to do. And hey, if you'd like to join us and support us as well, then make sure to go to our Patreon, patreon.com slash trash taste. Also follow us on Twitter, send us some memes on the subreddit. And if you hate our face, listen to us on Spotify. 
And uh, yeah, we was, will uh, go back to talking episode. about poop and food. Yeah, poop yeah. and food tomorrow. Yeah, yep. the poop poop pee pee jokes are coming back. Hentai episode so next week. Yeah, <laughs> hell yeah. All right, look see forward you to guys that. next week. Bye. Bye. Bye.